everybody! <laughs> it's -a me! It's -a me, 3D real fish! <laughs> I'm home, everyone! Ah! <laughs> so sorry for the lateness! I was booking it, guys. I was booking it home in the cold. I was, um. <laughs> The reason I was late, actually, was because... Uh, I decided to fix my nails today. <laughs> because it re it needed a major fix, guys. Like, I promise you, it was for a good reason. It wasn't for a greedy reason. <laughs> I, um... So what happened was, uh... Recently, my nails... Well... I got them done on New Year's, and, uh... The lady that worked on mine, she was like the only one that was there the whole day. So she was like multitasking between like three people. And I was like, oh, it's okay, you know, do what you gotta do or, you know, take your time and stuff. But the only consequence I faced was, uh, I guess not as good quality, I guess I would say. Also, it was done from a different person I'm not used to doing it with, so, um... So yeah, she had a lot, and I was like, it's okay, it's fine. I'll take with, I'll take what I can get. But later on, like a little month, like one month almost later, which is the 29th now, um, they started to crack and open up at the bottom. And every time I showered, my hair strands kept getting caught. And every time I pulled my hand away from my face, the hair would break! <laughs> the hair strand would break and get stuck inside it. And... I did not like the feeling of getting my hair stuck inside my nails. <laughs> I had to do something about it because if I showered next time, I was gonna deal with the same thing. And I was so embarrassed because when she removed my... my fake nails on my <laughs> real nails... <laughs> One of my nails opened, or she took off one of the nails, and there was a hair strand inside it. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was like, "Oh God, that's when my my hair got stuck." But why is it in there? <laughs> I didn't even see that one. That one's like all the way in the middle. <laughs> it was like inside, underneath. Like, how did it get there? <laughs> So yeah, it was, it was really embarrassing, but she fixed it and it looks fabulous. <laughs> it looks fabulous. Uh, I tried something new uh, a little bit. Uh, it's more natural colors again, but I got a different shape. They're more rounded instead of squarish or coffin-like, so... Um, yeah, I love it and thank God she saved me, but... I had to face another couple consequences, though, because when she removed my nails... Two of them started bleeding. Because <laughs> the, the... The pair... The nail set that she took off... It was... Like, there was two of them that were stuck to my real nail. And they were really hard to get out, and I almost teared up. <laughs> because... Um, the way she was taking it off was, like... The faster way, but more painful way, because... Uh, she... <laughs> she was digging underneath it. Uh... Which, I don't know... Maybe this is just like a very, like... <laughs> ghetto way of taking it off, but... <laughs> she was... She was basically digging underneath it... Uh, to rip it off, basically. And th that shit is so painful. It hurt like a bitch, guys. It's worse than pouring disinfectant on your... Uh, cuts. <laughs> Okay, guys, though, I, I'm, I'm a big girl. I can endure pain. Honestly, with how, how bad it hurt, I could have, it could have been worse. It could have been worse, you know, growing up Asian and all. I, I, I think I've suffered worse. So I, I, I told her and reassured the lady. I was like, it's okay. <laughs> As I was cringing really hard through the pain. <laughs> Because it stinged really bad, but we eventually got it off, and after we got everything off, I felt so much better afterwards. <laughs> it feels better now, but I can still see a tiny bit of blood on the nail, but that's okay. It's not showing much, and it'll heal on its own. It's fine. She really got in there, though, guys. Like, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> she really dug into that thing. <laughs> 
before, but it wasn't like that painful before, but this time it was. I don't know. Usually, they don't come off so difficult this time, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it really was how bad of a job it was last time, so... I got that. I got it off. We're good now. <laughs> Sorry to vent my, uh, nail dilemma, which probably no one <laughs> gives a shit about that. <laughs> I, I'm just a little extra, you know. Gotta, gotta take care of the girls, you know? <laughs> gotta take care of the girls. I'm, you know, I'm a little extra than most... <laughs> most girlies sometimes, you know? I'm a little extra and high maintenance, but... It's okay. <laughs> You'll learn to love it. Uh, but we're back with Yakuza... Yakuza 4 today. And we are playing as a new character now. Uh, well, we kind of met him at the beginning, but we haven't actually gotten to see his point of view until now. So, we're playing as, uh, Tanimura. Tanimura, and he's, uh, I believe he's a cop or police guy. I, I don't know what his specific position is, but... He works in the, uh, or the... Whatever you call it. He's... he's just a cop. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say Air Force, but that didn't sound right. Or Enforcer. <laughs> so, let's see. I need to find... What, what kind of voice did I give this guy? Did I give him a fuckboy voice? <laughs> I need to find the guy who reported me. I'll start at the ma Mahjong parlor first. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't know if I gave him that voice or not. <laughs> Uh, maybe it'll come back to me naturally. Uh... <laughs> I, I just gave him a younger voice, so... That's all I remember, really. Oh, wells. Um, I guess we're gonna go to Mahjong Parlor? <gasps> Have we... I think we've been here before. Not the Renzoto voice. <laughs> oh my god, speaking of Renzoto, guys... Oh my god. We were having the most cursed conversation in the Niji Discord at like 7 a.m. for the past couple of days. I have not been able to go to sleep because of these cursed conversations. Like, um, <laughs> there was this one time where we were all having a very cursed conversation about which guys in Niji would homie kiss another guy. Not, not sexually or anything. Just kiss on the lips, homie kiss only. You know? And we were deciding each guy, and we were, you know, debating whether or not they would do it or not. And... I think majority of them, we basically said half of the guys in Ian would more than likely... ...say yes, but would not actually act upon it if it was actually serious. <laughs> and I was like... Oh, so basically half of Ian are cowards, basically. So half of them are cowards and would actually say they would, but actually wouldn't do it and would pussy out last second, you know? <laughs> Who said poly crisis? Oh my god, we I <laughs> We did have this conversation, too! We were having a very long discussion about it! <laughs> we were having a very, de very debate... Like, long debate about it and stuff, and... <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, not paying attention to the game, but... <laughs> this is really important! But we were having a huge debate on every guy in, in Ian just saying who would who, and... I think an easy one to rule out easily is Uki. Uki would definitely... No matter what. Um, <laughs> and Vox was actually in the VC and he gave a, a really good impression of Renzoto. <laughs> I wish you guys heard it, guys. It was so accurate. He even added the fuckboy laugh and made it even more immersive. But it wasn't even that. It was his mannerism of speaking, you know? It's just the way how... <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Renzoto, he talks in a way where it's like... I don't really know. It's just like the... Uh -huh -huh, and then... Like, come on, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just that weird, like... I can't re I can't re reproduce it, but it's just like the... <laughs> hey, guys, come on. Like, I, I would never... I don't... Gosh, I wish I could do it. 
<laughs> Vox does it really good. Now, even if he doesn't match the voice or anything, he does know how to reproduce his mannerism. And the way he talks, like, you can clearly know that's him speaking. <laughs> and not, e not even, um... What is it, Ren? He... Vox was also doing a really good one of Hex as well. And it was honestly the scariest thing ever. <laughs> He was... He was, like, impersonating Hex really well with how he would respond to the situation of homie kissing. <laughs> uh, it was really good. It was really funny. Really funny bit. Uh, I couldn't go to sleep that night because it was just too interesting to leave the conversation. So... <laughs> and, like, one, one of the guys... I don't remember who said it, but they were like, Holy shit, guys. This is, like... Really good, really good debate. This is like hidden knowledge. <laughs> we can't say anything about this. This is hidden knowledge. <laughs> we were just having a big laugh about it. We were like, "Oh my god, you're right. This is this has to be like a secret intel now. <laughs> this is too powerful information." <laughs> and here, Fish is telling all. Well. I'll be honest, I didn't really say all of it. There was still a lot more to it, but... I'm just saying the conversation happened, but I didn't say exactly what we said exactly, though. <laughs> I'll leave that up to your guys' uh, interpretation of it. You guys can probably guess who would homie kiss or not. Because um, the, ho the whole reason why we talked about it is because... We already knew the girls would, you know... You know how, like, girl, the girls would do, like, offline collabs and, you know... I, I think it was the one offline collab where... I think... Uh, who was it? It was, like, Rosami, Nina, and who else? Uh, there was, like, a group of girls. They were all kissing each other and, you know, we were just, like... Talking about it and stuff. Oh, yeah, no, Wewa as well, yeah. Maybe Millie and Anna? I can't remember. But it was that group and, you know, they were, you know, kissing each other and stuff. And that topic kind of brought up the whole... Cough, like, the question of... Would the guys do what the girls did, you know? <laughs> we were basic... That's how the, the question of debate came up. Which is... It branched off of that. And we had a very... Thorough... One hour long conversation. And then I said something really stupid and funny, but it was also a very genuine thing because I thought that actually happened. But <laughs> we were we were debating about you know kissing on the lips and stuff. But then I was like, but what if there's? <laughs> oh god, I feel embarrassed saying this because I was genuine about it too. I wasn't even joking <laughs> because we were like, okay, kiss on the lips, and I said, but what if it's? Accidental tongue kissing, and everybody in the call was like, "What? <laughs> How do you accidental tongue kiss?" <laughs> and I was just like, "Where is is that? Like, does that not happen? Is that like not a possibility?" <laughs> and people were like, "Um, no, no, I don't think accidental tongue is even accidental." <laughs> Like, like if the tongue came in, it, it came in. You want that, homie? <laughs> As quoted by Vox, he was like, "No, if if there if there's tongue involved, that means they want that, homie." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I guess you're right. I I don't know. I just thought that was a possibility. Maybe it was just in my weird fantasies." <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you... Everyone was just laughing about it. And Millie... Millie was the one laughing the hardest out of all people. <laughs> she was like, how do you accidental kiss? Or accidental tongue kiss? <laughs> and then everyone just kind of like... Was just laughing about it and stuff, so... Yeah. Sorry, I'm like... I'm stalling the game. I'm so sorry. But this is just really important. <laughs> I have to let this out because I don't think there's no way I can keep this in. <laughs> if Wilson and Zali kiss, does that count as a French kiss? <gasps> oh my god. 
All right, thank you guys. Thanks for um, thanks for giving me giving me um an another debate topic for maybe potentially tonight's seven a.m. conversation. <laughs> Not even tonight. The next morning. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be so good. Yeah, the, the whole conversation was just really... Cursed. That's all. Um... That's all I have to say. Well, who do I talk to? Is it... Who do I speak to? Oh, Shiny. Hold on. Am I supposed to just talk to random people? Or the... Receptionist? Excuse me. Oh! Tiny Mordashan, here to play Mahjong again today. Wait, guys, did I tweet that I was live? I can't remember. Let me know if I did. Uh, no, not today. Can you tell me which members were here in the shop when I was playing here yesterday? I didn't? Oh my god. Okay, hold on, guys. I have it opened. I just didn't hit tweet. <clears throat> my bad, my bad. I was in such a rush to start. <laughs> well, there was one person I wasn't familiar with. They were probably someone who came here for the first time yesterday. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, it's the old guy still. <laughs> the other members were those two regulars who are playing over there. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Thanks. You're very welcome. Did something happen? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, alright. I guess I talked to these guys then? My god. I'm so sorry if you hear my nose congestion. <laughs> It's mostly because I'm voice acting these random people's voices, so... It kind of causes that. Sorry. Hey. You got a minute? Oh, Johnny Muda-san. Back to do some more damage? No, just here to find a snitch. And it better not be you. Snitch? What are you talking about? Save it. The chief said someone filed a complaint about yesterday. Come on, Tani Murasan. That wasn't the first time I lost a major chunk of change to you. If I was gonna ditch or snitch, I would have done it a long time ago. Plus, I don't even want to know what you'd do to me if I did. Right? For sure. I can always earn back the cash you ruled me for. The damage you do would probably be a lot more permanent. You got that right. Oh, but what about the other guy at the table? I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. Yeah. He seemed to be, uh, he seemed like he was hurting for money. Bet he was hurting even more after he dropped in and steamrolled us. Huh. So where is he now? Oh, he's, uh... Wait a second. What? Tanimura-san, tell me if I'm wrong. But this isn't official police business, is it? So why should we give away this info for free? Hey, you're right! This is the perfect chance to recoup some of our losses from yesterday! Nah, come on guys. Well, what's it gonna be? Alright, fine. Name your price. Gosh, these guys are greedy as fuck. I won't ask for much, like I said. I don't have a death wish. How about two silver, silver plates? <laughs> they give those out as prizes here, so that should be simple enough. You really want to stick it to me that bad, huh? Fine. Silver plates it is. <laughs> Thanks, officer. We just want to win something for once, so I don't care how you get them. Easiest way is to win or buy some Mahjong sticks and exchange them at the prize counter. Probably. Oh. Okay. Wait, do I have to actually play? <laughs> no way. Ohayo, Finanachan. Ohayo! I need to find the guy who reported me. I need to get two 
little silver plate so I can get the info. Wait. Oh. You can just buy it? Really? Well, how much money do I have? Oh. Can I buy it here? Hey, I heard you're in need of some prizes. Yeah, two silver plates. Can you give them to me? Sorry, no can do. However, you can get them by exchanging sticks. So you can either win a few games of Mahjong or buy the sticks yourself. If you just can't manage to win that Mahjong, feel free to buy sticks and exchange them as is. Hmm. Oh, now that I think of it, Tiny Murasan, the shop next door sells fake silver plates. Whatever do they use them for? <gasps> You know what? <clears throat> Wait, but what if I get my ass beat? <laughs> Wait, I have three options here. I can actually go and get the real... Pr oh, wait, hold on. Or two pr two options, actually. I can either buy the real thing and give it to these guys or buy fake ones. Hmm. What should I do? Hmm. I mean, they might beat my ass anyway. Might as well. <laughs> I think they're gonna beat my ass regardless if I give them real ones or not. <laughs> so, this is probably like the tutorial of it. I'm very positive. It has to be. There's. Wait, the pawn shop sells them, right? I'm assuming that's what they're talking about. I think they're gonna make me beat their asses. Wait, is this the real one? Oh, shit. Oh, fake! Oh, never mind. <gasps> oh, let's go. Wait, do I just need one, guys? Do I just need one? Uh, I actually don't remember. Or do I need two? Two? Oh, okay. I wasn't quite sure. Because I thought one would count for both, but... Damn. That's so cheap, guys. That's like one cent. <laughs> That's like one cent. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, this music. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. This is a banger. Hey, Tony Murasan, you get those two silver plates yet? Yeah, I got them. Got them right here. You handed over two fake silver plates. Hey, wait a sec! These are total knockout. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> True, but for all intents and purposes, they're still silver plates. You never said anything about quality. Really? You're gonna do me dirty like that? And you call yourself a cop? Hey, I get you your plates. You tell me what you know. That was our agreement. You came up with it yourself. Man, you suck. Whatever. Should've known better than to try and pull one over on you. Okay, so the other guy at the table yesterday, his name's Lida. What? Wait, so he's actually... Wait, the fake plates worked! They're not gonna beat my ass! <gasps> is it... Lida? Is that how you pronounce it? Or is, it, is that a capital I? Ida? Oh, wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> Why would they use lowercase... <laughs> Sorry. Ida. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> They don't have the lines, you know? They don't have the lines on the top and bottom, so I just immediately thought L for some reason. <laughs> yep, that's your guy. Can't say we know him that well, but we do see him around every so often. He mentioned he didn't have a traditional job, per se. 
but he works at Shichifuku parking lot as a VTuber. Oh, the one over on Shichifuku and Zenryo? Yup, that's the one! Now I don't know what he does over there, but he did say that's where he makes his Mahjong money. So I guess he must be doing something right. Okay, that's all I need to know. Oh, but be warned. He, will, he was super pissed after you left yesterday. Said you weren't gonna get away with what you did the, uh, and other crazy stuff. Yeah, he was kind of freaking out, honestly. He's a pretty big dude, too. Wouldn't want to be in his way when he's mad. Anyway, that's pretty much all he got on him. That's more than enough. Guess I'll swing by the Shichifuku parking lot and pay her friend Ida a little visit. See if he's the guy who narked on me. Yikes! Sucks to be him! Anyway, come back and give us another shot at you, yeah? It's only fair. <laughs> sure. Happy to take your money anytime. Alright. Now we gotta go to the parking lot. Off we go! Also, hope, I hope uh, everyone is having a good day today. Um, I didn't have time to eat, but that's okay. <laughs> I can just wait. I'm actually pretty fine. I had strawberry boba tea. So, that's enough. That's enough sugar for me for now to live off of. <laughs> uh, okie dokie. Okie okie dokie. Let's go. Let's go. My god, there's so many cops around here. You're playing the, the new Yakuza? <gasps> Yay! I'm so excited for you guys. Um, wait, I think I mentioned this before. I know I said that. <laughs> before I said I got something, but... Um, I don't even know if I mentioned this before. Maybe I mentioned this before and just thought for some reason I never mentioned it, but... Did I ever tell you guys about... Like a controller or something? I think... It, okay, if you don't remember this... Then that means I haven't said it yet. But if you do remember this... Then I did mention it. I think I told you guys already, I thought. Did I mention anything about a controller? Hmm? And it was not the drone? No, nothing even before that? Oh, okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it's not... It's really not a surprise or... Any, or it's not like... Nothing crazy or anything. <laughs> it's nothing crazy, but um... Well... Yeah. It, it's nothing crazy. It's just like a for fun thing. So I guess technically it wouldn't be too much of a... Bad thing if I mentioned it, but... Let's just say... <laughs> Real Yakuza do use game pads after all. Yeah. I guess you could say it's somewhere on the lines of that. <laughs> I guess you could say it's along the lines of that, but... It's, um... It's a very special one, though. And by that, I mean... Only 20 copies exist in the entire world for it, so... <laughs> hey, you! What's this? A challenger? Finally! Someone around here who actually has some balls! I go by M Mr. Try and hit me! <laughs> the job's in the name. Hit me in under a minute and you get 50,000 yen! Only cost three grand to play. Wanna give it a shot? Hell no. Do I... Do I not look familiar to you? Oh shit! You're that Mahjong monster! Bingo! Now look, I have some questions for you. Got a few moments? Nope! Don't know nothing! And I definitely didn't rat you out to your superior officer either. So why don't you uh, scurry on back to Donut Patrol? <laughs> You're not really bright, are you? But thanks for saving both of us the time. 
Now's the part where I teach you a lesson for being such a sore loser. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Can't touch this baby. You gotta be kidding me. It ain't no joke, jackass. They used to call me the Artful Dodger back in the day. Cause my footwork alone is the masterpiece. So get ready, cause it, for the very first time in Kamadocho history, Mr. Try and Hit Me's gonna try and hit you. <laughs> try and hit you. <laughs> this is gonna be some groundbreaking shit right here. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be handing your ass. Are you your ass in under a minute? You think you're hot shit, huh? Alright then, game on! Yay! Our first in uh, our first fat, uh, fat, fat? Fight, fight! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? LB to parry, oh! Oh! Oh, I glow! Oh, oh! Oh, I have to do it four times. Oh, oh my god. Wait, oh. Oh, oh my god. I'm the artful dodger. Oh my god. Oh, oh. I love how smooth that is. Oh, that's awesome. I like his fighting style already. You know, I don't really quite rely on this too uh, much. In terms of like a style play, but this is nice. Oh, I'm supposed to defeat him. Sorry. <laughs> I just punch him. Oh! Wait, he kind of he fights like a regular fighter in like fighting games. That felt so different than any other person. What? He gives me like the fighter type game mechanic or vibes. I like the feeling of it. Cause when you know, when you hold the controller and stuff, you get that feeling and stuff. <laughs> I... He just gives me that vibe. That's not like any other. <laughs> Shit! How about it? Wanna try again? Sorry for ratting you out. I won't do it again. Damn right you won't. Why'd you do it in the first place? Well, it's like this. I've been living as Mr. Tron hit me for years here in Kamurocho. But there's what uh there's this one scary looking guy in a gray suit who challenges me to a fight every year. And every year I end up losing. Each time, I try harder before fighting him again, but I can't seem to beat him. So, I started playing Mahjong to take my mind off of it, but I ended up getting hooked. Turns out, I'm pretty damn good. But just when I started thinking Mahjong might be a good way to make a living, you had to come along and spoil the fun. I lost a shitload of money to you. So I was pretty pissed. What with that Mr. Try and Hit Me thing and the Mahjong thing going all to hell. So I pick up, uh, picked up the phone and... Yeah. Anyway, I'm ready to suffer the consequences. Do your worst. I don't care. Eh, I'm over it. What? I'm saying you're free to go. After all, it's not like you're still out to get me. And besides... I got a few good punches in. Let's just call it even. No, oh, uh... Okay. Thanks. Hell. <laughs> just watch it. Wrap me out again and you won't get off so easy. Y yes, sir. I, I would... I wouldn't dream of it. Right. Well, at least I got to work out some aggression. Yay! And that's it. Now what? <laughs> Where do I go now? <laughs> I'm gonna stand still and see what it says. Hopefully he's learned his lesson with that. Now time to go around town. Oh, okay. So it's time... Oh! Never mind. I didn't even have to walk very far. Oh! In 
incoming message from HQ. Report a fighting at Theater Square. Hey, I can actually... Hold on. I might be able to. Hold on. <clears throat> Officers in the vicinity, head to crime scene. Yay! I swear, petty incidents like this never end. I guess it's close by. I'll have a look. Okay. What's going on? Mm. Sorry! Huh? Shut up, bitch! Oh, damn! You're the one who started this! And now you just want to back out? You owe me money! Alright, that's enough. I'll let this one slide if you disappear. And quick. Huh? You got a problem? Maybe I'll just kick your ass and collect what I deserve from you instead! Okay. <laughs> I'd like to see you try! On oh, the music. Yeah, come at me, bro. Ooh! I'm like slam dunking on this guy. Damn, I don't even have to do much. Too easy. <laughs> You're no joke. Who the hell are you anyways? I'm Tani Muda, a detective here in Kamado Chill. Shit! Fucking cops! Watch your mouth and get the hell out of here. Arresting punks like you is a waste of my time. Right! Consider me gone! Thank you. You saved me. No worries. I was just passing by. Don't think too much of it, but you should watch your step from here on out. Yes, sir. I apologize for the trouble. I'll be more careful in the future. That's it? Whew. That takes care of that. Looks like you clean... Who? Who the hell is Akaisi? Looks like you cleaned that up quite nicely. Oh. What the? And you are? Oh, I apologize. I'm Akaisi, here representing the Kamurocho Guard. That's so funny. <laughs> His name's Akaisi and it, it's like... He's Aka Red. Kamurocho <laughs> Guard? Oh, that volunteer group doing a community watch type thing? You know us? Well... Uh, it's nice to meet you, Tani muda san Huh. How did you know my name? Working in the area has made me really knowledgeable about the local police. And boy, I have I heard a lot about you. Um, almost certain it's nothing good. Anyways, nice work back there. You resolved the situation by being the first on the scene and held, handled things expediently. I just came by because I was in the area and heard about it on my radio. Our group gives it all to maintain the peace here in Kamado Chill. But with a pleasure district this big, even our combined efforts can't cover all the problems that arise. That's for sure. Plus, and I'm not sure why, but there's been some mystery group trying to in interfere with us lately. The nature of our work requires we put ourselves in harm's way. But now, we have people actively working against us. Our ranks are thinning. Hmm. That's not good at all. Which is why I have a favor to ask you. Would you mind lending us a hand? Huh? Keeping the peace is technically my job. But I don't think I can just up and join your group. You won't have to actually join. Just help out once in a while. Our goal is to resolve incidents like the one you just dealt with. We want to make Kamuro just safer for everyone. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> to do that, we need the assistance of police like you. <laughs> do they? That know much more than we do about the area. We will use our funds to reward you, depending on how many incidents you are able to resolve. This isn't easy for me to say, but... We've heard rumors you are financially in need pretty often. Okay, hold up. That's a little personal. Okay? That's a bit personal! 
Anyways, we will pay you a fair amount for your services. Do we have a deal? <laughs> what the fuck? These guys... <laughs> this guy just called me broke. How does he know that? Why is that his business? <laughs> hmm. One thing that bugs me. What is it? Well, you said you guys are volunteers, right? That's right. Then what's this about funds I'm hearing? Huh? Volunteer groups usually just barely scrape by. That is, un unless they have some strong organization backing them. Maybe they're, they're not... Maybe they're not non-profit. Well... If you can't say, that's fine. I guess. But not like I have to mention... Uh, anything to lose. Thank you, Danny Buddha san You can come by and help whenever you have the time. We won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. Alright, but only I when I hear something on the radio and have some spare time. Really? Thank you very much! So, I go to you for the reward money, yeah? Yes, I am usually here at Theater Square. Contact me once you've resolved a couple cases. You don't mind me collecting a bit on the side from the people I help, right? I have no issues with that. Roger that. This is going to be such a big help! Thanks again! Well, as long as they are working for the benefit of Kamado Chill, I won't, it won't hurt to help out. Yeah, I guess. I mean, he's already doing it. Might as well get some extra money. Hello? Hey. Wait. Who, who is this person? Um... <laughs> I can't see their face, so I don't really know what to... What kind of voice them? Uh... Hey, Macha. I, I run into a little problem here. <laughs> who is this person? I don't even know what voice to give them if I can't see their face. Would you mind st stopping by the restaurant? <laughs> okay, be right there. Thanks. See you in a bit. Okay, I don't know what voice to give them. Um... Is it... Zhao? I wonder what Zhao's, uh... Gotten mixed up in now. The easiest way to Zhao's place, homeland, is to cut in from East Taihei Boulevard. I don't, I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know who this person is, so I guess, um... I need to see their face to know what kind of voice to give them. That's just all. Ooh! I can upgrade. Um... Enhanced parry? Essence of arresting. Hmm... What should I save up for him? Essence of combos! Sheesh! I don't know what to save for this guy. What should I do, guys? I know I'll... I'll, I'll get some of these, uh... Stuff here. Essence of arresting is actually good. Should I wait for that, real, like, immediately? Or should I just get a couple of easy ones first? Uh, essence of arresting is broken. Okay, wait, but there's like a... Is there like a level requirement that I need to beat to unlock this? What do I... How do I unlock these locked ones, guys? Is it because I don't... I didn't fulfill the required amount? Is that... Is that the reason? It says on the screen? Wait. Uh... uh wait. Oh, after... Learning Essence of Finishing. Sorry, I thought it was like somewhere else. Uh... Essence of Finishing. Oh, this one. I need this first. Oh. Okay, so... Now it becomes available, but I have to save. Um... Yeah, I'll just... I'll wait. It's fine. Hmm. <clears throat> we can do whatever. I think we're kind of OP at the moment. To answer your question from the last stream, Kamacho exists IRL as Kabuchi... Kabukicho. Northeast. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not the Supa c getting cut off. No. <clears throat> Northeast of Shinjuku Station. Landmarks like... Uh, the Gateway, Don Quixote, Club Sega, Theater Square. Oh, I don't know if I've actually seen it or not. I don't think. I don't think I've ever seen it. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever actually seen it. No idea. It's possible. 
Huh. Why is my dono thing not working? Not refreshing properly, sorry. If I missed your dono, sorry. I think it might have just fixed itself. And then got, uh, let's see. <laughs> Thanks for the dono, Silver! Then speech was like, can we get a mini karaoke? <laughs> I wish, but... Nah. I would. I can just, uh... But... Hold on. Can you sing Rubia, pretty please? Also, good night. Ah! Aw, oh, damn it. I don't even know what to... I can maybe hum it. Mm. Hold on, but I just got into a fight! Ah! This is horrible timing! What the fuck? This guy was taunting me. Ooh. Is that my essence of finishing? <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to remember how the song goes. Or what part I should start at. <laughs> I forgot the lyrics already. Damn it! <laughs> that song is so hard, though. It goes really high. It goes so high, guys. That song is actually kind of challenging. I have to admit. Honestly, if I were to cover that song, I wouldn't even do it alone. I would do it with the entire Niji EN. I think that's fitting. And I would probably be more emotional too. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, his voice. What? <gasps> Hey, yo? Oh, oh. Korean? <gasps> <就労ビザ持ってない外国人が日本で働くのはもちろん。笑> つかまれば3年以下の懲役。もしくは300万円以下の罰金。勘弁してください。おお。店の女が警察に逃げ込めねえか知っててて。色々と直会出してるみたいじゃないあんた。What?豪勘罪も追加されたい。ああ。ま、
先日その父親が骨事故を起こしてな Also, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but is it which one is it? Is it Mandarin or Cantonese? I'm, I'm leaning towards Mandarin, is what it feels like. It's Mandarin? Okay, that's what I thought. But I was too scared to say it. Yamuruka, <laughs> you うん。え。またくお前さんってやつ。ま、ありがたいのは山々だけどね。ありがたいのは山々だけどね。ありがたいのは山々だけどね。ありがたいのは山々だけどね。ありがたいのは山々だけどね。ありがたいのは山々だけ
I don't know if it's really her, but I've got no reason to doubt it. I see, then I suggest you be careful. You think? I'm serious. You're telling me this woman shows up out of nowhere, right as the way no say what makes their biggest ruckus in 25 years? The time is too perfect. So, you're saying she's involved somehow? Huh. Well, you're about to find out, aren't you? Now go. Find her before she disappears again. Right. Okay. Uh, you off and running again? Or running o already, Machan? Yep, business as usual. You know how it is. Uh, let us know if you need anything, okay? You know you're always welcome here. After all, we couldn't be called Homeland if we weren't your home away from home. That's sweet, Meihua. Thank you. It's kind of pronounced like vegetables and mong. That's actually the reference I was using! <laughs> I was using that as a reference! Oh my god, that's kind of funny. <laughs> you now have access to a hideout. You Here you can save your game, move items, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Furthermore, blah, 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 blah. yeah. Because like, uh... <laughs> I mean, even my pronunciation in Hmong is not that good, but like, it's pretty much the same thing as that. It's like, <laughs> vegetables in Hmong, it's like a, like, zhou, <laughs> but it's like, zhao, if you have to change it to this guy's name. Zhou, it's like zhou or zhao, I guess, in the, in the, the guy's name is probably pronounced like that, zhao. Uh, I wonder if the woman at Midori is the same one I've been looking for. It's kind of weird because uh, Hmong language has a lot of similar, like, <laughs> Chinese words too, even. Uh, let's see. Where do I go? How do I get out of here? Um... Okay, maybe here? Oh no. Where am I going? Oh my god. What's happening? Where am I going? How do I leave? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's the red symbols. Oh. Uh, okay. We just go down here. I mean. Ah, no. Go away. Mm, oh. Reported behind Koto. Oh, are those the radio calls? Oh, I think they're giving me the radio calls for some random... ...bugs or whatever. Um... Oh wait, I'm right nearby. I think I can do it, guys. They said it's by the drug... drugstore area. I think. Uh... Wait. Might... by... No, I think it's up here, right? Is it? to be. Oh god. Ah! Like behind it? Yeah. I, I think it's up there, if I recall. This is the drugstore on the more upper side of town? Or... I know it's in this street, I think. It's in this street. God, my health is so low. The bar. <laughs> Ugh. Hurry up. Okay. Uh. Wait, hold on. Drugstore, where are you? Wait. I did pass it. God damn it! <laughs> damn it! I thought it was more up! Man! Is it here? Wait, is it the police? Do I... Who do I talk to? I'm at the drugstore. So, where is it? Do I talk to the police guys, or...? Uh, uh, what, what do I do? 
This is technically behind. Um... Maybe I talked to these guys. Hello? What's the situation? We've chased down a suspect who brandished a gun on the street. But every time we get close, he starts shooting at us. <laughs> Some small-time crook with his back to the wall? I'll take care of it. Oh no, don't tell me. I'm with the police! Why don't you c just come quickly? Or quietly. <laughs> <laughs> God, that sounded so wrong! You'll... Ma <laughs> You'll make things easier for the both of us. Ugh, another pig? No biggie! I can take you! Bring it on! <laughs> Come quickly. What the fuck is wrong with my head... ...today? No, 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 no. No! No, Yoshimoto, no! 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 No using your gun, no. No, no, no. Aya! Holy shit, I destroyed this entire office. And that is why you don't... <laughs> now the office is fixed again. <laughs> this is why you don't fight in jeans. Whew. Yeah, to just hand them over. Man, what a pain. Hey, let's go. Yay. Is there actually any benefit to doing these guys, by the way? Like, I don't know if... I, I'm just doing it just to see what happens, but I don't know what the benefit is yet. Uh, we managed to arrest him. It was all thanks to you, Tanimura-san. Please take this as a thanks for all the help. Yay, mommy! Yippee. Okay, guys. Before we enter the next place... I need a piss. A waterfall. I'll be right back. I'm back, beaches. <sighs> Thank you, everyone! Thanks, thanks, everyone! <laughs> My super, I think, is still broken, I think. I don't know. Or maybe it's... Oh, wait, maybe it is just coming now. I'm gonna keep refreshing. Okay. Maybe it is working after all. <gasps> okay, okay. Alrighty, here we go. Mm, is it this building? Wait. Oh, there he is! Ah, it's you, sir! The lady you're looking for is inside. Okay, can you get her for me? Sure. I mean, I would, but... Ah, uh, it's a bit complicated. What? Is she busy or something? No, she's free. It's just... Spit it out already. Well, I... Uh, I realize... I'm actually in a pretty awkward position here. But if this woman it really is the one you're looking for, then, uh... Yes? Could you... Maybe... 
figure out a way to skip next month's inspection? What? A bunch of new workers from Korea just arrived, you see? And uh, another raid would ruin us. I'm begging you. Think of all the good I'm doing for these people. Uh-huh. Then I guess it wouldn't kill you to pay them right. Damn! Huh? I'm saying you need to give these girls the money they deserve. Don't just skim them, uh, skim off the top because you think no one's watching. Because someone is. Ooh! Treat your workers with respect and make sure they earn a decent living. Do that and I'll see what I can do about the inspection. Maybe we can even be civil. Understood. It'll happen just as you said. You have my word. Okay then. Let's see who you found. I'm scared. What if it's not her? I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't think it would be this early. Also, what? Oh, wait. <gasps> I lied. That has to be her. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why am I falling for this guy? <laughs> I didn't even think I would be ever interested, but shit! He's got some <sighs> Riz energy that's just emanating. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he's kind of getting to me. <laughs> You're Yasko Saejima, right? Huh? There's something I need to know about a shooting in 1985. Something only you can tell me. I... I don't know any... Uh, I, I don't know about any shooting. I already forgot what voice I used on her. Probably just a calm one. Hey, don't be so tense. You can trust me. <laughs> wow, you're so trustworthy. <laughs> ah! I, I told you... I don't know anything. Whoa, what's wrong? I'm one of <laughs> one of the good guys here. Oh, what? We finally get you, you little hussy. Your Shibata's man. Probably. Oh, sorry. Probably his bottom rung goons, by the looks of it. What? You ditched that money grubber for this dickhead? Not that I give a rat's ass. You still owe us our boss a visit. Now you're coming with us. We've wasted too much time on you already. Sorry, but the lady and I have business to discuss. So why don't you buzz off? You think we take orders from you? Should've watched that mouth, pretty boy. Cause it's about to get swollen shut. He really is a pretty boy. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that, guys. <laughs> I'm starting to realize he's actually the pretty boy of this group. Ooh! Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> pretty boy that can kick ass. Yeah. You think Pretty Boy suits Akiyama more? I thought about it, but I was like... I don't know. There's like different classifications, I guess, of Pretty Boy, right? Like when you think Pretty Boy, you think BTS. <laughs> right? But you wouldn't think like too much of, you know, like... Gallagher... Or is it Gallagher? Gallagher from Honkai Star Rail, you think? You know? You know what I'm saying? Not... I'm not... And also, I guess it's not really like an age thing. It's just more like... Baby face... Type of thing, you know? For me. <laughs> uh, what the heck? She's gone. Hey. Your people took her somewhere, didn't they? Ha! Huh. What do you care? She's probably popping bottles with the boss right now! Or popping his bottle, perhaps. <laughs> Stop 
feeding me bullshit and tell me where she is. <laughs> Fine. Guess we bought them enough time. They're probably at the Tokyo Bay docks by now. Really though, I wonder what they're doing to her. Nothing good knowing the boss. God, you don't need to say those things. <laughs> Damn it! I need to get to the docks right away. Better catch a cab. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a bit of a transition there. Oh no. Is that Danganronpa? Is Danganronpa BGM's playing? <laughs> okay, well... Maybe not this part, but you know what I meant. The beginning part. <laughs> God, it feels nice for a change that I get to walk around scot-free because these cops aren't looking out for me. Isn't that so nice, guys? Wait. Is this enough health? I don't know if I should... Hmm... Should I buy health, guys? I'm kind of scared. Well, it's still the beginning, I feel like. I can do it! Yeah, I can do it, guys. You know what? Forget it. Uh, the docks. There's no way I can avoid fighting. Should I get prepared before... Damn it. Okay, they convinced me. Damn it, they convinced me! Gah! <laughs> Fine, I'll just go. I'll just go. Also, thank you guys. Uh, sorry. No, the, the bathroom supas aren't registering. I don't know who all supaed, but I'll just say thank you, everyone. <laughs> They're not. Only there's like a couple names showing up. I don't know why it's glitched out today. I only see Leah and me so far right now. <laughs> That's all. The only names I can see on my history of supas. There's something wrong with supas right now. So sorry. Uh, I think I passed it. Blah, 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 blah. There. We got flushed. I know, literally, you guys got flushed. <laughs> Legendary drinker of UQ. <laughs> okay, so I think it's too it's too early to buy expensive drinks, so let's just do um Uh, 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 I don't know, guys. Should I do toughness or stamina? Maybe I should do stamina. It gives me both, but it is a little bit more expensive than toughness, which is only for health. Uh, well, I'm building a lot of heat easily, though, so maybe it might be okay if I just. Let's see. Maybe I'll just save a few yen. So, yeah, I don't have much heat anyway, so it's whatever. I can build it really easily so far from the battle, so. Let's just do... Half of these. Ten of these. Do I even have enough room? Oh, I got plenty of room. Okay. Yummy! Alright. I'm assuming we're gonna see a cutscene. So, I'm just gonna... Go with the flow. I should probably save too before I go as well. I'm trying to f Oh, there's a save station. Okay. I can't get over the saxophone. <laughs> so romantic and sensual. It's a very sensual saxophone. All right, go now. Is that romantic? Yes, saxophones are very. Romantic and spicy. I mean, it literally has it in the word. Saxophone. Saxophone. What? <laughs> oh, what? Already? No cutscene? Shh. 
shit. I gotta get her back in one piece. Time to burn through these guys. Not the gun. Not the gun. Not the gun. Wait, that's a knife. Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> I saw something silver and I immediately was like, nah. Oh, I leveled up. Hold on. Hold on. This is my moment. Okay. Now I can kind of do whatever I want at this point. So, uh... Let's, uh... Uh... Hmm... Maybe just a couple... Yeah, whatever. Just some basic stuff. I don't even know how to use a resting. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. La, 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 la. <clears throat> writhing unconscious enemies. Oh. That's it? Well, this guy's writhing. But I have to get heat. Do get the parry? Okay. I will work on it, guys. Don't worry. Oh, Jesus. I was just taking my time. And I also wanted to pick this up. <laughs> oh god damn it. Yeah, 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 yippee! This guy's not rising. D it doesn't qualify? Ooh! Oh shit. I don't know how to get it, guys. Does he have to be... Like, does he have to be in the floor... groaning? Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> He's kind of flexible. Oh! Oh my god, this guy needs to stop... sidestepping me a bit. Oh, no. Oh, what? I can't get the arresting one. I don't know what qualifies for it to get it. Ah, uh, this guy is a pussy. He's running. Big pussy. Oh, what? It's more scarier than an actual person. Oh! Ah! oh my god, the quick time event is so fast, guys. I didn't realize. I thought that was the normal one that I was doing. Sorry. I almost had it. Oh, oh. Shit. Okay, we almost had it, guys. I didn't know there was a quick time event for it. Oh my god, I leveled up. <laughs> Yo, accidentally punched the other guy. <laughs> oh. Where did he go? Oh. Oh, is it time? Oh no. No, it wasn't time. No! I was so close. His name is Ouchie. <laughs> Literally ouch, but with an I at the end. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, uh, let's look at my abilities. Uh, oh. Hold on, sorry, I'm itching. <laughs> Ouchie. It's O-U-C-H-I. <laughs> Enhanced parry. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Oh. No, oh, it's just the normal one. Oh, I got Toughness Emperor for free. Ah, that's okay. I'll get it next time, guys. Are we getting another Trucoon? No, we're getting. Ah! We're getting Woodboard Coon. Jesus. Oh no. What's next? Oh, okay, just some random guys. 
Oh, thank God. Okay, he's on the floor. Timing Buddha, calm your tits. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh my God, that's awesome! Wait, so is he permit? Is he permanently down? Is he permanently down? Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wait, can they ever... Can you do that to a boss, though? Or does it have to be, like, near death? Because, like, what if it... You know what I mean? Like, it, they can't be blocked forever, right? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oil? Are they gonna put fire on it? What did that do? <laughs> uh... What is... Demon spirit? Oh... After learning Phoenix spirit... Who? Oh. What are those? Essence of combos... Should I... Oh, wait... Essence of combos... So... Huh... Hold on, I'm gonna get this... Uh, uh, maybe I'll just get the... The high upgrades first this time... Because I went with the first... Like, the first stuff, but... Honestly... I don't think it did much for actual combos and stuff... Or like, um... It didn't do too much... My god, the quick time event is so fast! <laughs> so what, what was the point of the oil? What, what was the point of the oil stuff? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just arresting everyone. <laughs> I, I, I fight with style. <gasps> Time to arrest for everyone! Yay! Ew. <laughs> Wait, that's why! <laughs> Wait, that's why! It makes me slippy slide! <laughs> why do I walk so funny? <laughs> When I'm in, when I'm like focus mode. Ow! Okay, fuck yeah! <laughs> I look like an idiot. Okay, everything's fine. <gasps> no! Ah! What's happening? Ah! Oh my god! Oh, that was kind of close. Too close for comfort, I would say. Ooh! Oh, let's go. <laughs> Are they all dead? Oh. Let me take this one next. Alrighty. Some more health? Do I have any health items that are small? Uh, I'll just save it. Ah! Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. Hey! Why is the SMG? Oh, thank God he's scared. Thank fuck. Fuck you, bitch. That's what I thought. Get up. Yay. Remember your lessons as Akiyama? No, I don't want to remember. Why did I even do that? <laughs> Why did I even take that course? It didn't help me at all! <laughs> Plus, I'm playing as a different...
different characters, so all of that knowledge is not retained in this head. Oh no, is that a guy with a gun? <laughs> Fuck you. I gotta finish this guy first. Come on. Wait, pick the the gun guy first, please. Please, the gun guy. The gun guy needs to be down first. Please. Oh my god, the props are so annoying. Oh. Oh! 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 Oh, oh my goodness! Feel the heat. Oh, I'm feeling some kind of heat. Oh, sheesh. Is that cannon? <laughs> Is that cannon, guys? <laughs> Has he never killed somebody before canonically? Oh my god. Oh my god, these guys are ruthless. Cop killed a man? Oh no. That's even worse. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait, I can't... Oh, I can't do that with the sword! Fuck you! Uh, I can... Let's see... Let's drink a little bit of some toughness. Uh, I do have ability points. Let's go with, a uh, Essence of combos, I guess. <laughs> What the? Okay. Hurry. Oh, yes. Oh, so much soul orbs. There's so many orbs. We're getting so much. Is Tani Muda's a bit shorter than the rest? Is that why the orbs are coming really fast? Because I feel like the orbs are purposefully throughout the story. It seems like everything's going quite smoothly. Simply lay low for a while and wait till the storm blows over. Then things can proceed. Get that, Arai? Yeah. <gasps> Understood. The six chairmen will never suspect we're hiding you here. Quite the bargain for just one finger, wouldn't you say? <laughs> you mean that little charade of yours? Nice touch. <gasps> Wait... What? He, he didn't cut his finger? Was it a fake one? I'll be meeting with Katsuragi tomorrow afternoon to work out the finer details of the truce. I see. In the location? Kamurocho, some place called Cafe Alps. Hmm. Is Kamurocho, or Kamurocho really the t right place to hold a meeting so out in the open? Tojo headquarters could easily discover the link between you two. It's fine. Katsuragi and I have a perfectly good reason for being seen together. If anything, people will just assume I'm offering a further apology. Or at least I can spin it that way. Of course. <laughs> but what I... But I do see why it might worry you. Especially with this woman and the unexpected headaches she's caused. Oh no! Masak. Konna onna ga. いま世間を騒がせている連続殺人事件の犯人だったとはな。どうして柴田組の関係者ばかりを狙ったんだ。仕方なかったんです。一億なんて用意できると思わなかったから。うん？何おかしなこと言ってるんだ。なるほど。
なかなかいい女だうう。これなら男は色仕掛けに引っかかるってわけか。I don't need to hear that from you. 柴田組長、もういいでしょう。この女が。I'd rather hear it from Adai. <laughs> この女がうちの連中を殺してもらったのか知りたいんだよ。それに。No! No! Oh no! この女の色仕掛けがどこまでのもんか、試してみたいのじゃないか。Eww! Not by you, Dracula looking ass! <笑> Oh, shit! Do you do that? Oh, my God! I don't regret the words I said. In that case, you're not going to be a good one. ねえ。ああ。25年前の事件桂木さんと手を組んでいたのはあんただそうですよねあの事件あんたは自分の出世のため桂木さんに手を貸したでもそれ以来あんたは事件の真相をネタに桂木さんに見返りを求めすぎた桂木さんにとって今のあんたは邪魔者でしかない。Holy shit, he's already got like a couple bullets in him. How many more are we shooting into him? 警察だ。銃を捨てろ。No, not two hot guys fighting each other. This ain't it. No. Nah, just leave him there. Oh, he just wants answers. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, he's got a gun. 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 He was shaking him like a doll. <laughs> when, the, when the doll doesn't do what it was made for, you're like shaking it like, Why won't you work? God damn it! Ah! The perpetrator. Oh, wow, this is moving quite fast. I mean, I kind of get it though. I'm assuming Tanimura is not really a huge role, so I understand maybe it's going a little fast. Mind that though. Oh, yeah, so Tony, but then I hung a Oh, my God, Konomisa or a guy. The sudden smile change. <laughs> it's kind of nice for a change to see a guy smile in this game. Toast, but I snuck to Kakumo Yonako. What about Majima? Um, I don't know. I mean, I love him. 
I love him so much. But he got a creepy smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I, sh I would say it's cute and all, but <laughs> he smiles in the creepy way. <laughs> like he's out for blood. <laughs> it's not like the Chad looking smile where it just, you know, it's like, you know. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. どうして。簡単だ。俺は生活安全課の刑事だからだ。殺し合わせもんじゃない。でも。それに、たとえあんたが殺人をやっていたとしても、俺にはあんたを捕まえることができないんだ。殺人の証拠がないからな。だから証
Even if you're... If, even if you tell me the truth, the police won't do a thing. None of my superiors are likely to believe a word I say anyway. Guess that comes in handy for once. Please, I need to know. I was contacted by a man named Katsuragi from the Ueno Sewa clan. He told me he'd save my brother, but on the condition that I brought him 100 million yen or agreed to murder. Damn. Katsuragi said that. How do you even get in touch with you? This was several months ago. I was living out in Chiba when I got a call from a man who claimed to be a detective in Tokyo. I know someone who can save your brother. How about I introduce you to him? He said this right out of the blue. Wait, this was someone from the police? <gasps> yes, and because it was the police, I never thought to question it, so I rushed here as fast as I could to meet this mystery person. <gasps> who turned out to be Katsuragi. That's right. What did he say to you? He told me he was one of the victims of the shooting 25 years ago. And if he testified that my brother wasn't the killer, the case would have to be re-examined. Which would mean he could be released. All for the price tag of a hundred million yen or murder? Yes, but a hundred million is such an impossible sum of money. So you chose murder. Why did Katsuragi send you after people connected to the Shibata family? He didn't mention anything about them belonging to the Shibata family, but... But... He did say eliminating certain individuals would help prove my brother's innocence. Certain individuals? Now I... Now I think he wanted to silence the people who knew the truth about what happened. <sighs> なるほどな。これで一つ見えてきたな。25年前の事件、カツラギとシバタは裏で繋がっていた。おそらくシバタは25年前のことを餌に今もカツラギを脅していた。だからカツラギと協力関係にあった荒井ニコロされた。最島大
くいヤクザも警察も桂木も真犯人なんてどうでもいい私はもう一回お兄ちゃんに会いたいそれだけなの Damn. That's sad. Ah,、uh, you know what? I don't blame her. She's going through a lot. Yes, go, son. Please. I need your help. I swear, I'll reunite you with your brother, and you won't have to kill anymore.、Nah. He's not much different than you. All he wants is justice for the murder of. of The father he loved. Can you find it in your heart to help him? Please, look at me. Alright, I'll help you. You will? Kamuro Chuo Parking. So, Kuni to Mete are Kuruma no Kagides. So weird that we transition from non talking to talking. Oh. でも私はもう人を殺せなかった。殺したくなかった。だから借りたんです。誰にですか？スカイファイナンスの秋山さんって方に借りました。秋山。スカイ。I <笑> That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Knowing her. I mean, she's the one who killed innocent lives. I think she's the selfish one here, but.、Uh, I know it wasn't her choice, but still, she did it. お兄さん。今沖縄の刑務所に。はい。つい先日移送されたみたいです。そうです。before So, this is after she went to Sky Finance, but before the prison break, right? Or did it happen and she just doesn't know? I don't know. I'm not sure where the timeline is,、uh, timeline is here. I guess we'll figure out. Maybe we're not supposed to know. You're the only person I trust. What about Akiyama? What about the guy you kissed? <laughs> yes, go son. Th this key was for a car she left in the central parking lot. Hope no one broke into the trunk. Seriously. Yes, there's only one way to find out. Okay. Guess we'll go to the parking lot. Bye bye. I wonder what the fastest way into Kamurocho Central Parking is. Oh! Hello? You wouldn't happen to speak English as well, would you? Speaking Tagalog? <laughs> Millie? That's no use. She doesn't understand a word I say. Hey there, officer. Oh, Tanimura san. You couldn't have come at a better time. Is something wrong? 
No, but it sounds like this woman is looking for someone, but she can't speak Japanese, so I'm not really sure what to do. I was trying to get her to follow me back to the station so we could have an interpreter help us, but she doesn't seem keen on leaving the spot. I see. I'll take things from here. Thanks, and sorry about this. Can I leave her to you then? No worries. If you had taken her to the station, I would have been the interpreter anyways. <gasps> Wait, Tanimura speaks, speaks Tagalog? <gasps> so it saves time if I just do it here instead. <laughs> you got a point there. Thanks again. <gasps> can we... Can we hear it? Please! I need to hear it! Well then... Oh, god damn it. No! I want to hear it so bad! No! I can't even do a Tagalog accent, so I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> It'll just sound so... <laughs> I'll sound racist if I try it. <laughs> I'm a police officer. You can talk to me about whatever it is you're having trouble with. I know, we really need Millie for this part, guys. Great! I finally found someone I can actually converse with. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just imagining it in my head now. My name is Tani Muda. I'm with the Tokyo Metro Police Department. Who are you? I'm Nair. This is my first trip to Japan, and I still haven't gotten my bearings quite yet. Nair. Nice to meet you. I'm guessing you're from the Southeast uh, Asia. Anyways... You're looking for someone, right? That's right. Well, actually, I'm a detective too. You? A detective? <gasps> That's right. I followed a criminal to Japan to bring him to justice. Can you just do that? Do the Japanese police know what you're up to here? I contacted the Japanese police before I left. They're supposed to be helping. But once I got here, everyone seemed so busy. No one would help me with my investigation. Oh, I see. Everything's a bit of a mess right now, so I bet not... Uh... So I bet not everyone knows you're even here. I was also told I would be given an interpreter. And I'm guessing you didn't get that either. I apologize for the inconvenience. It's not your fault. I'm just happy to finally talk to someone I can understand. Glad to be of assistance. But I have a little dilemma. We have permission to investigate, but we don't have the authority to make arrests. In Japan, only the Japanese police are allowed to make arrests. We've got a point there, but it's not our investigation. We can't make an arrest without sufficient evidence. There is evidence. That's why my colleagues and I came to Japan. Hoping for some help from you guys. Colleagues? They're out on the embassy now. Tanimura-san, would you come with me for a bit? My god, I need to hear his Tagalog, please. Anything. <laughs> what is this place? We don't have cell phones that work in Japan right now, so this is our rendezvous point. I see now. That's why you couldn't follow that officer to the police station. The criminal we're seeking won't be in Japan for long, so we have to investigate quickly, along with the embassy and Japanese police. Tanimura-san, would you please help us? We have to catch your criminal. Me? Mm. Yes, I beg of you. We'll take care of the investigation, but we need you to come along to make the arrest. I'm not sure. This sounds more like trouble than it's worth, but I guess the station will make me do it later, even if it refused right now. If that's the case, then it'd be easier for me if I did this my way. Alright, I'll help. Really? Thank you. Thank you, Tanimura-san. By the way, I have no problem arresting the criminal, but you guys don't have guns, right? Isn't that dangerous? I don't usually carry a gun. A police officer's job is to capture criminals, not kill them. If that's true, you've done a good job at staying alive. Don't you have a dangerous... Uh, don't you have dangerous cases? I may not look like it, but I pack a pretty strong punch. Stronger than any of the gangs here. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Really? I wouldn't have guessed. I can't win a head-on slugfest with men, though. I use their own strength against them. Hey! 
Sheesh. So, you're good at pairing, I guess. I prefer countering to simple brawls too, so I understand your logic. <gasps> oh my gosh, hold up. Are we meant to be? <laughs> oh yeah? We should try sparring together then. Sparring? Yeah. That way we can share techniques and help each other get better. Sparring is important no matter what martial art you practice. I don't know if my style could be called a martial art. But alright. Uh, while we spar, you can update me on the progress of the investigation. Sounds great. You can come here anytime and I'll fill you in. Okay. When I have time then. Oh yeah, I was meaning to ask you something else. Have you heard of Revelations? <gasps> revelations? Yeah, I heard there were times you can have epic revelations just by witnessing several... Uh, or certain special events throughout the city. People like us that train regularly can use that inspiration to discover new techniques. Revelations, huh? I think I understand. But I'm not sure I know how it works. When you witness the perfect shot, make sure to record it somehow. At least that's what someone told me. I've been keeping memos of the various new things I've seen since coming to Japan. I already have some technique-worthy materials. That's interesting. I'll try using the notepad. I always carry the next time I see something. Mm. Worth a try. I'll keep an eye out for things going around town too. Anyways, sorry to ask you, uh, ask so much of you. I may not be here for long, but I appreciate your help. Yay! Oh. What? Who's calling? Oh my god, Mac! First up, we have a girl asking for donations in the hotel district. Folks there are too poor to give much of, it, of anything. Good luck, kid. And for number two, a flirty couple tries their hand at a UFO catcher at the Club Sega in Squ Theater Square. Here's his chance to show off a little and win her heart. <gasps> Yay! Can I spar with you now? Bye! Yes. Wanna spar for a bit? Mm. Sounds good. What should we work on today? Let's run through the basics of parrying. Everything starts with the basics, I guess. This is just sparring, so you can't use any weapons or items. Are you ready? Oh. Ready as ever. <sighs> Let's get started then. Oh my gosh! I can't wait for her to beat my ass. Hello? Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh. Wait, whoa, oh, oh, wait, this is kind of sexual. Oh my goodness, I don't want to beat her, but... <laughs> shit! I don't want to beat her ass, though. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Okay! Oh, shit! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! Holy shit, okay. She's kinda good. Oh! <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, this is just kinda sexual, guys. <laughs> I can't help it! Oh my god. I, I don't even wanna hit her, guys. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> They're just fighting? Guys! It, like, look at this! <laughs> Isn't it just much more hotter when you're, like, fighting that person? Like, in a battle? Like, you don't guys ever imagine that? You don't imagine, like, f fighting your hot mommy dummy villains and be like, <laughs> you know, feeling the tensions, the heat, you know? What if there's a villain out there you love and you have to fight her, but then it ends up being, you know, something else? <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck. 
that's the, where the real stuff happens. Oh my god, wait, I'm feeling inspired now. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of inspired a little. Oh, shit! Like, okay, this is totally not the scenario I would have imagined if I fought Scaramouche. <laughs> oh shit, she's gonna kick my ass. I've, I've watched some crazy, like, ASMR of Scaramouche before, where he's, like, fighting you in battle and stuff. And then it turns out, um, things happened, and so... You know. Oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god, I think I'm gonna die! I can't even use any items! She's gonna kick me. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh my god, I have to be careful! Guys, I think she's gonna beat me! Oh! I think she's gonna beat me, guys! No way! I'm like, what is me? No way! I won! You must have been taking it easy on me, Tani Murasan. Not a chance. I actually tried pretty hard. <laughs> Really? Then you're gonna have to double up on your training and try me again. True, right. I can't just quit after losing like that, even if this is just sparring. Mm. That's right. Keep it up. Mm? Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> Holy shit, my ass is beaten. Oh my god, my health! <laughs> no way! Holy crap! My freaking health is like win! Oh, she's a tank, I know. She's crazy, man. Um... Hold on one second. I'm just gonna get the simple upgrades now. Damn, they couldn't have given her an ass or something. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> that ass is kind of, um... You know what? I don't judge. It's fine. Hi. <laughs> Should I aspire with her again? Do I get something out of this? You know what? I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try this again. Maybe my parrying becomes stronger if I f defeat her. Oh my god. Uh, she's so... She's already doing it. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. Oh my god. Ah! Jesus, so... Oh. Oh, shit! Knocked me into the wall, would ya? Oh. 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 Oh my God, she still can. Can you grab her? I don't know. Let me see. Oh no, it's it's. She's like a level of a boss. They're not gonna easily let you grab them. What the fuck? Wait, hold on, I cornered her, guys. <laughs> ah! Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Ah! Hold on. Oh. Maybe this is exactly what I needed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I wish I could freaking 
Martha! She needs to go down! She needs to go down! Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. She is crazy, guys. Oh my god. She's crazy! She's crazy! But I'm doing so much better than before, though. Now that I kind of know how it works, but she's still kicking my ass, and that's fine. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, she is not letting me hit her one last time. Oh. Ow. <laughs> ah, she's not letting me hit her. She's like one hit, but like one hit. Oh my god, finally. Oh my god. Like, punched her in the throat. Jesus. Whoa. You're not bad, Tanimura-san. That really taught me a lot. I think I got the hang of parrying now. Active parrying time increased. Great job. You have a lot of techniques I've never seen before. That was very educational. Glad to be of service. Let's do it again sometime. Mm. Sounds good. Hey, Nair! Oh. Oh, Marcos. How was the investigation? I got some good intel. Hmm? Who's this? This is Tanimura-san. He's a Japanese detective and is helping with the investigation. Really? That's great! God, why are his eyes so wide? <laughs> My name's Marcos. I'm also an investigator. I came to Japan with Nair. I'm Tanimura. Nice to meet you, Marcos. So, how about that good intel? Right. Gigi was spotted yes... Or what? Gigi was spotted nearby. Why? Oh my god, I'm having whiplash from Honkai Star Rail. Hold on. <laughs> Gigi was spotted nearby at a club frequented by foreigners. Gigi. The name of our suspect. He uses fake names so no one can track him down. It's short for good game. Like what you'd say after playing a round of something. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a cynical way to punk, uh, poke fun at the people he beats, I guess. As if it were a game. I see now. Doesn't sound like he takes the police very seriously. You got that right. But it seems that the very same GG was just drinking at a club. Where did you hear that? From this guy who happened to be there. He works as an, uh, interpreter. Apparently he was drunk and yelling, I'm GG at the top of his lungs. Wait a second. That doesn't necessarily mean he's the same GG that you guys are looking for. You're right, but it's at least a lead to follow. I'm going to go over the club now to find out everything I can. Thanks, Marcos. Let me know if something turns up. Will do. <laughs> Just wait. Won't be, won't be long now. Also, if I, <laughs> did I mess up the voice lines? Sorry, if I'm like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't pay attention to the name sometimes, so like I kind of just get into character. <laughs> I forgot to tell. Uh, I forgot. I wanted to ask you something. What? What crime did this GG commit? He murdered an entire family and stole their money, and in the most atrocious of ways. Two parents and their son. The crime scene was so horrific. The victim bodies were unrecognizable. He did all that just for money? I don't know. That family did nothing to deserve such a cruel fate. Why do you say that? Perhaps he had some really bad grudge or something. No! No! Not in a million years! There. I just... I won't... Believe it. Don't tell me. <sighs> I'm afraid so. It was my parents and brother that he killed. Oh, I had a feeling. I was safe at a friend's house that day. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so gloomy all of a sudden. No, don't apologize. I'm sorry for making you talk about it. I'm fine. I became a detective for the sole purpose of personally solving this case. Don't look upset. Uh, 
Or don't look so upset. We have to stay sharp. Right. Come back to spar again, okay? I'll show you how a real fighter does it next time. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Huh. Alright, um... I guess, uh... Hi! Check investigation? What does this do? How's the investigation coming along? Here's a breakdown of the current situation. Uh... Is this a side... Subsequest? The criminal Southeast Asian male in Japan, Nair and her colleagues have permission to investigate for no authority to make arrests. Codename GG. Okay. Tamarocho Club, a popular among foreigners. Uh, an interpreter was also secured. That's all I have right now. Oh. Okay. Holy shit! I am as tall as this door! That's crazy. Alright. Oh, oh, what happened? Manchan, help! It's dad. You gotta help my dad. What's wrong? They... They took him away. Who did? What happened? These scary guys burst into Homeland and harassed us about a woman named Nadine. Do you know who they were? No. But I think I know where they headed... Where they headed? Somewhere off of Sanrio Avenue. Please, Machan, you gotta see my dad! Don't worry, I'll get him back in one piece. You just head back to the restaurant where it's safe, okay? Yada. No! I'm going to! I had a feeling you'd say that. Fine, but we gotta hurry. Think you can keep up? Mm. Of course I can! By the way, Machan, I brought these for you in the case you were tired. Hope you like them! You got a stamina and X. You got toughness Z. Oh! Okay, thanks. You're the best. Now let's get going. I'm right behind you. Bringing him back in one piece. Crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> ever since... Uh... Ever since, uh... I think it's, it's Vanta. He keeps saying crazy that y'all. And now I'm just wanting to say it now all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time he says that. That's crazy, Dayo. <laughs> uh, wait. Is this the location? How do I get in? This is no time to be making detours. Zhao Song, uh, Zhao Song got taken somewhere off of Sanrio Avenue by who knows what kind of people. Am I literally not on it or what? Like, where is the entrance to this? What? Is this not? Uh, maybe it's further down. Oh, that's the parking lot. Oh, okay. Then it has to be a. Uh... Oh, there he is. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know any Nadine. <laughs> We're in no hurry, old man. How about we take a trip to our office and jog your memory there? I have nothing to say to you. Now keep your filthy hands away from me. Come on, guys. Do I really need to remind you of the legal ramifications of an abduction? Or are you actually that dumb? Who the hell are you? Doesn't matter. All you need to know is I'm taking Zhao Song back. This might get dangerous, Meihua. Hang tight for a minute. Alright, assholes. Let's see what you got. How does my earpiece never fall off? That's what I'm wondering. How does his earpiece never fall off? Honestly, every time I put my AirPods on. Oh, shit! <laughs> Every time I wear my AirPods, they always fall out of my ears. Where am I hitting? <laughs> oh! Oh! That's awesome! Okay, you can stop targeting him. Ah! Oh, he's scared now. He's scared! He's scaredy cat! He's scaredy cat! Ooh. <laughs> hey, 
I hurt you, Eddie? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Didn't mean to get you involved. They were looking for a woman named Nadine, right? She's your buddy or something? <sighs> Nadine... ...came here from the Philippines to seek better financial opportunities. But the authorities found out she was working illegally and now they're trying to chase her down. Then... She, oh, then she sought help from the Asian Gateway, I'm assuming. Huh. Correct. She was actually at a restaurant at the time those thugs showed up. Luckily, she was in the back room and got the hell out of there as soon as she heard the commotion. Alright, then who were those people just now? Not the authorities, that's for sure. My guess is they are probably responsible for bringing illegal immigrants into the country. In other words, human traffickers. They must be afraid that if Nadine gets arrested, she'll lead the police right back to them. Makes sense, uh, but I doubt she'll be coming this way anymore. Gonna be a real pain in the ass to find her. Yeah. There is one method you can try. Yeah? I'm all ears. So... There's this fortune teller over in Tenkaichi Street. Maybe she could help you track Nadine down. A fortune teller? Is that seriously the best you can come up with? Or were you just kidding? Oh, it's no joke. In fact, this lady is known for being freakishly accurate with her predictions. Kinda spooky if you ask me. It sure sounds spooky, but whatever. If you're the one who was recommending it, then I guess I have no nothing to lose. Where's this place exactly? Uh. Middle Tenkaiji Street, right next to the host club called Stardust. Okay. Here's hoping fortune's on our side, huh? What was the point of bringing that girl? She didn't say What's shit. Like Pink alley. Uh, uh, where is Pink? This is Pink Street, Pink Alley. Oh. Is it up here? I think it's here. Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Pink Alley. Pink Alley. Am I in it? Oh no, that's down. <clears throat> I think it's down now. Right? Wait. I'm doubting myself. Wait. Uh. Wait, I was just in it, actually. Hold on. Sorry. I got confused. As per usual. Uh, what's the situation? Oh. Okay, so it's the same scenario again. Okay. Alright, I don't care. Just get this guy over with. <laughs> I guess I don't need to read the dialogues for these ones since they're not super unique or anything. Oh, not the gun! Jesus Christ. Oh! This poor plant didn't deserve it. Ooh, that skill does a lot! Wow. I don't even know, can you even parry those gunshots? I highly doubt it. I'm too scared to try. Alright, thanks. Manny! At least you don't fall to the ground when you get shot like in the other games. Oh my god, guys. I remember. <laughs> I remember that bullshit. Uh... Oh, sorry. Hold on, I actually, before I do this, um, I wanna... I wanna get the Mac thingy. He said Hotel District, so that's probably up here, right? Yeah. I have to go all the way north. <sighs> Alright, yeah. I'm gonna get Revelations, guys. So let's do that first before we move on, because... I do... I don't want to forget about it. Um... He said Hotel District. Also, Theater Square as well, so... 
Uh, we'll just make our way north. I think it's Club Sega specifically that we have to walk into. Oh no, bad guy. Oogie oogie. Let's see. I wonder if Theater Square is closer. Or should I just go... ...far and then return? Oh, I guess I could. I couldn't just return. It's fine. Wait, hold on. Am I... Oh, okay. I just need to go left. It's fine. I'm just going the further... ...top north part. Oh, no! Ha! Ah, whatever. It's fine. I'm getting XP anyways. I need to encounter a bunch of them. Okay, whatever this finisher is, is so helpful, guys. <laughs> this is extremely helpful to end people. This is so extremely helpful. I love it. Hmm. Also, thanks, uh, me. Thanks for the dawn, though. Earlier during a cutscene, there was a movie poster in the background, and all the names on it were food related Alex Hot Dog, Donald Sandwich, Anthony Fried Potato, etc. I can't stop thinking about it. Wait, really? I didn't notice that! <laughs> I was so busy watching their faces, I didn't think about it. That's awesome. And my name is... Fish... Fish Ryugu. Hold on, there's a blue person over here. Wait, what? Oh, okay! I thought this guy was a sub-story for a second. <laughs> Why am I getting a ping? Hold on. Guys, hold up. I'm double checking. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh. Um. Um, where is this person? Am I in the right area? Oh, come on. No. Where? Where? Oh. Isn't that a lady? Where am I? I passed it. Where? I'm confused. The cop? What do we? What do we? Which one are we talking about? I'm a. Uh... Is it this guy? No? I don't see it. Back at the... Taxi guy? Wait, what? I don't... I don't see anything. The red text? I wish I could see it right now. other side? But this is so late, guys. <laughs> Why... Are, this is so late to me. Hold on. I'll go back. <gasps> is it this? Oh! Oh, it's a guy. I thought it was a... I thought it was a girl. Or maybe it's the Club Sega one. What's happening? Ah! Oh shit! Also, guys, prepare your answers! Jesus! Guys, a spider! No! How did it bounce? Wait, what is that? What is she handing? It wasn't his money to begin with backwards between the legs? Dang, that girl made a pretty nice catch. 
<laughs> what is the answer, guys? Two? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Death mode! a long ass name, I know, guys. He's literally <laughs> Kita. <laughs> Desperate to catch the runaway 500 yen coin, the man quickly thrust his hands backwards between his legs. This generated amazing torque. Torque? Torque? And he fell to the ground. If only I could apply this to a technique. It's a revelation! More power in this direction. The body will spin with great force. It's torque? Oh. Oh, really? I did not know that. Huh. Interesting. Torque? You learn the essence of... Ball and chain? Talking ball torture? No way! And now we go to Club Sega. Time to find the other revelation before we, uh... move on. I should probably save eventually. Let's see. Uh, I think it's over here. Hmm... The essence of CBT? <laughs> yes. Is this the theater square? Hold on. Let me double check. Millennium Tower. Oh, wait, it's, uh... Huh? Am I going crazy? I thought it was that. Wait, what? Is it really that much smaller? Wait. Oh. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. What the fuck is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I'm, I'm directionally challenged. I was thinking of, uh, a different area. My bad. Uh, oh, here. Uh, entrances, uh... Ooh, uh... I think I'm going the wrong way, but it's okay. Wait, hold on. I think the doorway is... Here, okay. <laughs> I was looking at the arrows. Alrighty. Is it? Oh, here it is. Prepare your answers, guys. Yikes. What the hell? Oh! You know what? That one is so much better. Um... What's the answer, guys? He hit one toy with the other to make it fall? I wonder if I can do that too. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Okay. <laughs> Death Note. Yeah! What's this one? Oh, ow! Head bump? Oh! How did that inspire that? <laughs> one stuffed animal was sent flying in an arc. Then it hit another stuffed animal and knocked it down. If I throw one person into another with the great force, I might just do damage to them both. It's a revelation! Fall. It might hurt more with the heel. <laughs> the essence of 
Guillotine heel. What? What the hell? How do you get inspiration from that? I don't understand. <laughs> That's so funny. So silly. Oh no, they're calling for me again. Damn it. Uh, hotel district incident has been resolved. All units stand down. Oh. Is that the one I did? Okay, I guess, uh, it's been resolved. So I guess I don't need to, uh... Oh, wait. I don't think I need to go there. If it's been resolved. I ignored it? Oh. Well, that's fine. <laughs> oh wells. Let me go down here now. Um. Hmm. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> Why does this guy just look like he's barking at him? He's like Claude barking at him. Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, down here. And then I think I have to go. Wait. Hold on. Also, I should probably heal a just a little bit. And abilities, I have none. We're good. Uh. That will lead me over there, right? Is this... Is this it? Oh, yes. Okay. Wait. Examine. It's a food magazine called Kamuro Gourmet. Should I read it? Uh... No. Because... Is that even related? Not now. Wait. Um... Huh? Is that... Oh! Wait, what? Wait... Oh, I think I'm supposed to stay here. But why does the... Why does it point down there? That's weird. Okay, so I guess I do have to check every single car in this area. Right? Does the key fit? Uh oh. Oh, sorry. I thought this was my friend's. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna read all that. You know what's gonna happen. He's gonna kick my ass, obviously. <sighs> Were there any car hints? I actually don't remember. I don't recall if there were any car hints to really narrow it down or not. Maybe not. Okay. Yep, 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 yada yada ya. Yada yada ya. Yada yada ya. Do I really have to check every car? Is it really like this? Oh, maybe not every car. Oh. Maybe not every car, guys. I think I'm good. Maybe... I, th I think I'm good. I think we're safe. It's only specific cars. Oh. Is it fit? Nope. Uh... No? Uh... No? 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 Mm. Ooh! Shiny! Shiny, shiny, shiny! Okay, uh... This? No? No? Who's messaging me now? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure it's not like an emergency. Is it car 
it. Nope. Okay. The ones with their gat out? Oh. I thought... So I... I thought that was the clue, but I thought maybe it didn't actually happen. Because I thought it was still a potential maybe that it would have been. Oh, Jesus, that guy scared me. <laughs> I'm gonna examine them all anyways. It opened! Oh! And there's that briefcase, just like Yasuko-san said. Wait! Did that one... I don't know... That one didn't have its gat out? Or did it? What? You got the briefcase. Okay, so I've got a briefcase loaded to the brim with yen. A hundred million yen. In fact, this is good. All that's left is figuring out how to get in touch with Katsuragi. Uh-oh. Now, what's the easiest way for a community safety officer to reach a powerful member of the Yakuza? Never thought I'd ask myself that. Um... Um... Uh, well... Look into contact King... How? What? What do you mean? How do I look into it now? What? What does that mean? Can I go somewhere else in the part of... A different part of town? Uh, oh, I don't know. I can... Let me get out of here first, I think. I think, uh... I can get out through... Here? Question mark? Oh, I triggered it. I think. Hello? Oh. Anonymous. Do I use a... Voice changer... Megaphone? Uh, let me see. Um, uh, hold on. Yeah, that's me. And you are? You. It's my job to do that sort of thing. As such, it works only to my benefit to funnel information to you. That's fine, but why should I believe some random caller who could be a total scammer for all I know? Really? That's what I thought. Now, do you want that information or not? Of course, you can always hang up and be on your way. I'll let you go. Now, let's hear what you have to say. Smart man. Only thing is, nothing in life is free. What? You're giving me a quote already? We're not done yet. <laughs> oh my god, guys! I can sound like zero! That's crazy! <laughs> wow, I could really roleplay as him. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. An informant awaits you where this site can be seen. Get over here, there on the double? 
What the fuck? Looks like a little tiny castle tower with clothing racks and stuff. I don't know what that means. Wait, so... I should go to the location in the picture in the email. How am I supposed to know? I guess I gotta go to an... Uh... Do I have to go to the rooftop? Maybe there's a way to get up. Hold on. Excuse me! Is there a faster... Wait... Where am I? Oh, this is Serena! I can't go here. Where... Wait... Can I? Time to go on the roof. <laughs> yes, I can go to the roof here. The roof. <laughs> Time to go to the roof. Of course. Um... I don't see anything in particular, but I guess we'll have to keep going. Time to go to the roof. Okay. Nothing here. There's a guy down there. Hold up. Oh, JK. Can't even get to him yet. <laughs> Wait, is that a shiny? Oh, come on. <laughs> really? There we go. Alrighty. Uh... Oh my god. Honestly, that voice was... <laughs> I'm still in shock that I made that really good zero voice that... I'm, I'm at a point where I kind of want to, like... Roleplay as him now. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, wait, hold on. I think there's another way. I know, it's pretty... Pretty exact, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm about to, like, whip up some zero script lines and... Start reading them off. <laughs> With the amount of times I've... I'm not gonna lie, I, I have gone back to rewatch and, like... Just see gameplay again. Because I'm so addicted to Zeroscape. The lore. It's so good. It just blows my mind every time. Where in the world is... Th oh! Oh, it's Kamiyama! Uh... I never used Kamiyama services. Oh! <gasps> wow, this is a very K-drama moment. This looks very beautiful. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. Uh... I guess we go back down here. Wait. Yeah, we go back down here and then we walk across. And then we go over here. Is my location actually like the where the farthest area is? How do I do I have to go through this door? Oh I do. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, Jesus! How far is this? Ah, where is the... Wait... Oh, shiny! How do I get that? Do I... Do this? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, it's them! Wait... Uh, but... I don't think... What? No, but that was all of the rooftop! What? That was all of the rooftop locations, guys. I think I just explored all of it. Oh, no, wait. There's another one. Oh... God damn it. There's another area with rooftops! No way! No freaking way I have to walk all the way at the bottom right. I guess I... I didn't realize. Man... So I went there for no reason. <laughs> Sag. Oh wells. It's fine. Oh my god, I thought that was her for a second. I was like, Yasko? Yes, 
save. Why am I getting so many notifications? What is going on? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. I'll take care of these things afterwards. Uh, okay, so I have to go this way. This way, this way, this way. And then down here, down over here. At least you got some shinies. Yeah, you're right. Are the shinies like... Throughout the entire game, like, or like, if one character gets it, it doesn't repeat for the other, right? It's not like, uh... Oh. It's not like you have to re-get re it at the same spots, right? They're all shared. Okay, good. Where in the world? Where am I? Oh! Examine. There's something here. Oh. I didn't even see that! What? The sunlight was covering it. Alright. So... Let's see where this, uh... Thing is. God, this is so scuffed. Hold on. Uh... Hello? What the hell? Are you Tani Muda's son? That I am. You were the one who called me? I don't know anything about a call. My boss just told me to come here and give this to you. Here, take it. Oh! <gasps> Gilf? Yowie? What's this for? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you got a secret admirer. Either way, it's yours now. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's the florist. A bouquet of flowers. I don't get it. Wait, there's a note inside. It says... Well done, gumshoe. You take after your papa more than I expected. I suppose I should uphold my end of the bargain. You'll be getting a call from Katsuragi soon. What you do next is up to you. Just see that you don't waste this chance. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 あくまで俺が身柄を拘束しているもちろん。<笑> 事件を担当した谷村 それに電話ではあなたが佐江島康子の身柄を拘束しているという確認もできない。あなたが佐江島康子と繋がっているという証拠を見せてください。わかった。1億持ってこう。それでどうだ。1億。ああ。あんたが康子さんに要求した1億だ
一番人通りの多い場所と時間公衆の面前なら襲われる危険もしない It might not be a hundred million guys I don't know It could be filled with bullshit 五時ミレニアムタワー前先に使いの者に一億を確認しますそれでもいいですかかまないでは明日 We're gonna have to fight guys I don't think that's actually There's actually a hundred million yen in there I think it's just rocks or something I'm meeting Katsuragi tomorrow at 5 p.m. I think I'll go rest at home one until then. Oh my god. Okay. So, I guess I'm gonna leave then. Whichever the quickest way is. Okay. Right in front of me, actually. Maybe it's a 99 million? Ah, oh, shoot. God, God darn it. <laughs> God darn it. Oh. Well, that's awkward. But you know what? One million. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Well, Jesus. Can't speak English today. Alrighty. I gotta go back to homeland. Hmm. I want to hear him speak more Mandarin. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> or other languages, please. I must. <laughs> I must hear him! Oh. They're here? Oh. Whoa. That's a crazy... area... to get through. Where am I...? Here? And then here? Uh... Where the frick am I? Jesus Christ! I'm having... I'm gonna experience claustrophobia here. Jesus. <laughs> Where am I going? Ah! Oh my god. Where... <laughs> Where is that place? <laughs> ah! What the hell is going on? I'm so lost. Oh my god. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> oh my god, what the... Where do I go? Ah! <laughs> the camera angles, I'm literally experiencing old PlayStation right now. Ah! I'm gonna go to a different area... A different doorway. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Fuck that. There's gotta be an easier entrance route to this whole thing. Oh, thank god, I think it is. Oh my god, yes, I should've just gotten here in the first place! Not the ducks. <laughs> ah, Machan, how'd it go? You find the briefcase? Yeah, took me long enough. Sure wish I'd thought to ask Yasuko-san what her car looked like before she left. Anyway, I got a call from Katsuragi not long after that. We set up a meeting tomorrow. Money. Really? You did? Wow, that's quite the breakthrough. I'm sure he's up to something, though. You'd better be prepared. I will be. In the meantime, you mind holding on to this briefcase for me? Uh, okay. That it? Do I just, uh... I, sh oh, I guess I just rest then, and I save. Okay. Uh, can I save real quick? Thank you. Alrighty. Machan, you ready to go meet with Katsuragi tomorrow? You can rest here until then. Uh... Yes, I'm ready. Sounds like a good idea. Thanks. Sure, you take it easy now. I 
Have you guys tried pegging duck? I didn't say pegging. I meant pecking. You know what I mean. <laughs> but, uh... I, I think I've had it once or twice before. I think. My parents used to bring some home, like, a couple of times. I I'll admit... It's... I would say it's pretty... Pretty... Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a... Unique flavor or unique taste. Like, like it's, um... I don't know, know how to explain it. Like, it's good. I would still eat it. March 9th, the next day. I, I would still eat it, but... It's definitely got a unique flavor, I would say. So, I would understand if it's like a 50-50 for some people. I like the fattiness of it. Yeah! I think that's kind of like the whole thing about it, too. How... how it is. Well... Uh, Zhao san I'm out. Or, I'm off. <laughs> All right, stay on your toes, Machan. Will do. Why do they call it Machan? I actually don't know the. F is it is it like a short version of something else? I don't really know. They just started calling him that, and I I didn't really know if that that was like a nickname abbreviation of some sort or a sh shorter version of things. Millennium Tower. Oh god. His first name is Masayoshi. Oh! I see. I understand now. I forgot. Oh no. Oh god. It's him. God, that forehead. <laughs> Jesus. How long have you been here? <laughs> Since long before you arrived. I'd wager you saw me in the crowd, but didn't recognize me. That tells me you don't have much of a file on me. A relief, really. Now, what will it be? Shall we proceed with the deal? No, let's walk and talk. Here? Around. Maybe it'll help jog your memory, you know? I'm sure you have so much to tell. You really have thought this through. A moving target is a lot harder to hit. Not to mention, I thought you'd appreciate a nice long stroll through Tojo Clan turf. How thoughtful of you. Then lead the way, Tanimura-san. What if, what if he gaslights him, though? What if he's lying? <laughs> The McDonald's hairline. <laughs> I can't unsee it. 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 I can't あんたと柴田が25年前の事件で繋がっていたことは分かってる。親父はあの事件があんたと柴田の仕組んだものだということに気がつき、そのことが原因で殺されたんだ。そうだ。確かに谷村さん、あなたのお父さんはあの襲
like gothic Logan manor Logan. vibes, like they live in those gothic mansions and stuff. Castlevania style. ゴーゾーに見せかけて殺させる絵を描いた。自分の組織の幹部を構造に見せかけて殺させる絵を描いた。自分の組織の幹部を構造に見せかけて殺させる絵を描いた。自分の組織の幹部を構造に見せかけて
ったがまずはあなただカツラギ貴様 I mean, what, did, what else did you expect? I'm going to go to the next one. It's him, isn't he? I'm going to go to the next one. I knew it! <laughs> oh my fucking god! I predicted it! そうだ。あのあなたが通っている故郷ってお店。I knew it. I was like, I, I bet it's him. There's like no one else. There's no one else that would have been a bigger plot story twist here. I mean, what did you expect? 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 I I, I bet it was him. I bet he murdered his dad too. Oh, shit. What's gonna happen? I need help, guys. Help. I need the homies. Oh. What the? Oh. Slime balls? <laughs> that was the best comeback he could have came up with. Oh, I see what he did there. How am I gonna fight it with the briefcase? I need to get to Homeland before those thugs do. <gasps> oh, I have infinite usage on this thing! Awesome! Oh, Jesus, but this kind of makes it a little difficult to block. Hold on. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Oh, what is happening? <laughs> Damn, that took a little bit too much time. I know, that's a durable case. If I'm able to beat people up with this thing... Oh my gosh! Money sure hits hard. <laughs> that's a good one. I love this. This is awesome. That is awesome, and I leveled up. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and. Oh sure, why not? We'll get that, and we'll get uh. I don't know, something random. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, relax. Ah, there's more. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while, guys. Ow! Hey. Pick one. Oh my god, somebody. Just take the briefcase hit. Oh, uh... Okay, whatever dinner is cooking right now is burning my eyes. Holy shit. My eyes are burning. And I don't know what is cooking in the kitchen right now, but... <laughs> burning my eyes. <laughs> who's making... Who's cutting up the onions right now? God damn. My eyes are watering. What is happening? I smell some food right now, but I don't know what it is. Smells really good though. But 
It's really strong. Oh my god, come on. Uh, where are you guys? Oh. <sighs> really off topic, but I need everyone here to watch solo leveling. I'm actually really enjoying it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying this often, but watch solo leveling, guys. I'm actually... I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of falling for the main guy. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, because I didn't think I would, but he's kind of... He's kind of growing on me. I don't know, it's like all of a sudden he turned badass. All of a sudden... Oh, shit. Jesus. Like, there was that one part where his eyes glowed blue and stuff, and I was like, oh my god. Like, all of a sudden, he turned EK Men all of a sudden. Holy shit. Ah! Okay, I really hate... Um, I really hate this heat action, because it feels like it takes forever. Oh! Please read the Red Tunes too. I was an unbeliever until I read it, and I was hooked till the end. Gosh, I really do want to. I... I... I haven't had a chance, though, to read any manwais, though. Where do I go? That's here? Oh. I don't know where to go. I'm just kind of... ...turning corners. Ah, oh, come on. Ah! No! Hanase! <laughs> that guy's holding it like it's his... Good fucking child. Okay, um, let's uh, drink this. That's good enough. Ah, what the hell? Oh my god. I'm so glad A Studios got this. Also, Hiroyuki Sawano by Oshi directing this music. <laughs> Every episode I hear his his. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Every time I hear him or his music, I want to cry in the inside. Like every time the music becomes epic, I just cry inside because I'm like, you know, you kiss a lot of. Oh my god, these guys are fucking ripping ass through me. Oh my god, get up, get up, get up, get up. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. God, I had to use it before it ran out. <sighs> the salon I'll drop. Ugh. Yeah. Every time I cry a little just hearing his music. The, the opening is so good, too. You can just close your eyes and imagine you're still watching Attack on Titan a little bit. I don't... I forgot how it goes. Or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. But the really cool part where it just goes... Or whatever. I don't know. I gotta chase this guy. Okay. Oh no. Oh, which corner is he? Are you fucking serious? He's like literally so close to me. Come on. The fuck? Why do you have a heat for? <laughs> the bleh, bleh, bleh. Is this still continuing the chase? Oh my god, wait, it is! Ah, I'm getting stuck in the freaking... Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh... Ah! Oh my god. Not... Ah! 
Oh my god, what literally Mac trained me for and I'm already forgetting the bottles. <laughs> Yay, got his ass. Just throw him off the building. Easy. Sorry, but you'll have to try harder than that. Too many goddamn tackles. Think I busted a rib. <laughs> going somewhere? I'm just gonna say this. You are not ready at all, girl, for what is coming. Guys, don't hype me up for solo lovely, guys. I'm already hyped up already. Ah! You people really don't give up, do you? Fine. If it's a fight you're, you want, you got it. Don't hype me up, guys. I'm already into it so badly. How... How much better can it get? And how much hotter can he get? <laughs> he already... He already impressed me enough in the latest episode, guys. Like, I was like, sure. <laughs> oh my god. I'm already... Jesus Christ. Why... Why do the enemies here have so much more props than ever? Well, I need to heal. I'm just gonna do this one. There we go. Ah. Thank you. Wait, he's still alive? Come on, there we go. Yay! <laughs> this is taking way too long. I need to get there now! It is taking too long. Just take me there already. <laughs> A Manwa stream of solo leveling? We did it for Honkai? Well... Honkai is a different situation. <laughs> this is bad. This place is crawling with Katsuragi goons. There he is! Oh no. Ugh, I don't have time for this. Better run for it. Oh my god. I would... I would love to do manhwa reading, but... I'm sorry, it's just not possible. Ah! What the fuck? Uh, oh shit. What are the buttons on... Is this wait? Oh my god! Oh my god! Thanks for the push. Oh my god, this guy is catching up! I'm fuck! Ah! <laughs> Who's this kid? This it? Talk about hard to find. Little scram! Oh wait. Now, Scram! Wouldn't want you getting hurt now, would we? Hold it right there! Well, well! Kudos on making it this far! Take this to Homeland for me. Okay! Aww! Cute! I know you're after me, so leave these people out of it. We're actually more interested in that restaurant and the money than you. But if you want us to walk over your corpse to get him, hey, that's your call. Jesus, that guy's face is so detailed. That guy looks like... <laughs> looks like Wario. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that very much. I hate that very much. Hate it very much! Ah! What the hell? Jesus. Pick somebody. God, I keep switching in between these people. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
the freaking nice guy is so annoying. Ah, just let me hit! Oh, thank you. Oh, these guys have so much health. What? Hey, give me a second. My eyes are still watering from what's happening. The kitchen, who is cooking? Who is cooking right now? My eyes are burning. Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Let me just finish this guy off first with the knife. Wait, there was a heat action! Hold on. Here we go. Oh my god. I'm literally cutting his head off like this. That's just not possible. I'm cutting his head off! That's just not possible! Ow. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Jesus, finally. He keeps constantly punching me. Oh. Ugh. Oh my god, even the pairing, or the... Ugh. Even this isn't quite helping much, I'm gonna be completely honest! Ah! I need a heal, again. <sighs> Moderately... Ah! Oh my god! Chillax, bro! No. There we go. <laughs> oh, come on. And of course you do it the wrong way, too. I wish. I wish I had heat. Oh! I know, this guy is so tough. Oh. Oh. Wait. It's kicking. Oh. Oh my god. I think if it, it might be better if I just attack a little less. I, oh my god. Machan, what happened? You're all right. Man, I'm so happy. I could hug you. Maybe after I catch my breath. Are you okay, Machan? Yeah. I'll be good in a minute. Uh, oh, by the way, there's someone here to see you. Huh? Chani Murakun! Thank goodness you're safe! Safe? <laughs> <laughs> what? New save. Door to the truth. Already? Nani. Nani. What? You mean someone else killed those 18 men? Right. The way no say what officers were taken out by one of their own. Katsuragi. And yes, Kosaijima's brother is innocent? <gasps> Wait! Well... <laughs> oh, 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 you're right, you're right. Hold on. <laughs> Let me recollect a bit. <laughs> well, he did carry out the attack, so he's far from innocent. But there's a big difference in sentencing for murder and attempted murder. Mm. Was this... Oh, sorry. Why is this Katsuragi also responsible for killing your father? I couldn't get an answer out of him. I see. <laughs> By the way, Tiny Murakun, 
that stunt you pulled had me worried half to death. I got a call from Suki Uchi Kun and Homer Shine telling me you were trying to contact the Ueno Shewa. So I took it upon myself to search you for or uh, search for you before you wound up in danger. Which ended up happening anyway. Gah. So that's why you're here. Or, oh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> so that's why you're here. Tiny Murakun, you must have some inclination as to how dangerous the UNO Shewa clan is right now. Are you even aware of the gravity of the situation? Oh, 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 shit. Sorry. I clicked fast. Uh, he said, uh, something. <laughs> ah. Well, at least this Katsuragi seems to know something about your father's killer. Sounds like progress to me. Yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. And why the long face? You finally have a promising lead. Something that Katsuragi ha said has been bugging me. And what's... what? what was that? The police covered up the truth about the massacre in 1985. They knew the real killer was Katsuragi, but they pinned it all on Saejima. Huh? What? None of this rings a bell, Chief. No, I'm not in Homicide. And back then, I was on an, as low on the totem pole as you get. Fair enough. So, were the police trying to protect Katsuragi? If so, why? Who knows, but they obviously couldn't let a scandal like that go public. Mm. I just thought of something. Oh, sorry. I just thought of something. <laughs> hmm? Maybe we could dig up something at the headquarters. Oh, yeah? How? Archive room 13 on basement level 3. The show called Forbidden Room. <laughs> Why is there always a forbidden room in these games? In every sort of mystery detective game, there's always the forbidden room. The forbidden room? That's right. Also known as the Scandal Graveyard. All records of police misconduct over the years supposedly ended up there. Or so do the rumors go. Interesting. Then we just might find something useful. Yes, or well, it could all simply be a rumor. Still worth a shot. In fact, I'm all over it. Now hold your horses, Tiny Murakun. Think about it. Archive 13 is smack dab in the middle of headquarters. A rookie like you can just go st strolling in there without permission. I never planned on asking. I mean, we're dealing with someone who can cover up mass murder. I doubt they'd be keen on giving me access to the evidence. You. Oh, sorry. You serious about this, Machan? Tiny Murakun, I... No, nothing. So, we all ready to go? Huh? Wait, were you asking you and me? Of course. Us community safety boys gotta stick together, right? Besides, I've only been to HQ maybe once or twice. I probably couldn't find this archive even if I tried. But you know right where it is, don't you, Chief? What? No, I... Well, I mean, yes, but be that much it may. Great, then I'll be counting on you. Oh no. <laughs> now the old man regrets it. <laughs> now he regrets telling me this info. Alright, let's go. We can get there by taxi. Anything I gotta take care of before I go... Before we go to HQ? Uh, I'm second thought. Um... We could probably get a little bit more health. 
and uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Nakamichi Alley. Uh oh. Hey, we're on special patrol. Okay, useless. Um, is it is it this guy? Do I talk to the police or is it this guy? Is it this is not a sub story, right? We're good. Is this what the rep the police report is? I think it's this guy that they're talking to. This is this is the only interactable in Nakamichi Alley. I think. Come on, you know where to hang out with me. I told you I'm not interested. Somebody get this guy away from me. Yay! Yeah, I'm with the police. You better knock it off before I haul you in. Yeah, mind your own goddamn business. I'll pick up chips however I like. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> had a feeling it was gonna be a quick one. This guy says he'll pick up chicks whenever he wants, but... Ooh! You really saved me. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Yay. Um... <laughs> detective? Do you think I could get your phone number? Oh, um... I'm really not allowed to do that. <laughs> oh my god. Riz! <laughs> Riz! Wait, but can I? That's a question I'm asking. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, thank god I dodged him! Yimmy! That's right, guys. You automatically have Riz if you know how to fight and defend. It's that simple. Uh, let's just buy the same thing. I'm just gonna buy. Um, oh, actually, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Domo. Yeah, that's good. Good enough. Okie doke. I think we're all right. We're ready to go. I just gotta save and all. We should be good. I think after this scene, though, I'm probably gonna... ...wrap up the stream. My eyes are burning still. <laughs> I don't know what they're cooking. Literally in the kitchen right now. But it is... Ooh. It's getting to me. <laughs> whatever the hell that they're making or whatever they brought. Uh, okay. I'm all set. Sure, I'm all set. Okay, but we pay our own cab fare. Headquarters might start asking questions if we file an expense report. Oh. Damn. Here we go! To headquarters! Is this gonna be a stealth mission? Oh. Never mind. We, we're already there. <laughs> How? Hmm? That's it? Examine. Not it. Oh. Nope. Uh... Why is this even here? <laughs> okay. Hey, I think I found it. Yo, dirt! The Assault on Yoshiharu Ueno. 1. Case Overview. 
The attempt on Yoshiharu Ueno's life was carried out on April 21st, 1985. Shortly after 12 noon that day, a lone gunman armed with six, invo uh, six revolvers burst into a ramen shop located in Tokyo's Sukinami Ward. Yoshiharu Ueno, chairman of the Ueno Sewa clan, was one of the 20 men shot, in shot inside and one of the two who survived. The gunman was one, Taiga Saichima, a 20-year-old member of the Tojo clan. On the day of the incident, Ueno had just been released after serving a two-year prison term. With him were several top members of his clan. This report is missing something, just like Katsuragi said. According to him, he should be the one listed as the killer. But all that's here is the part Saejima played. 2. Investigation. Who the hell? The Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department formed a special investigation team led by detectives Taiki Tanimura and Junji Sugi Uchi. <gasps> Wait! Dad and Sugi Uchi? They worked the case together? Why haven't I heard th this before? What the hell's going on? Imagine plot twist, Sugi Uchi's his real dad. <laughs> Imagine? Huh. What did you find out? More than I expected. Let's go. What? Already? Yeah, I have a good lead. No point wasting my... Uh, any more time here. I thought this was gonna be a hard stealth mission. The fuck? What? I thought... I literally restocked health pots for no reason! Ah... <sighs> I thought this was gonna be a big one. Come on. I literally said I was gonna end stream after that one. The fuck? Chief, I have a few things I need to check out. Why don't I see you later? I know, they even gave me a warning. They were like, Are you sure you're ready to go? <laughs> As if we're gonna fight. That's fine. I'll be back at the station if you need me. Josh, don't do anything crazy, you hear? Your father wouldn't want you going out guns blazing over this. I wouldn't go that far. Well, you never know. <laughs> That's what they all say. I think I'll head back to Homeland for now. I need some time to digest all this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was all for nothing, guys. I saved, I bought pots, and... It was all a waste! It was all a waste. Man, I can't believe this. <laughs> well, but I guess we gotta go back to Homeland. Oh! Baddie! Baddie incoming! Also, when I go to Homeland, I'm not going in this... I'm not going in that other entrance anymore. I'm going up here. Because frick that. Frick that entrance. This is the better one. Move out of the way! Oh, match on your back. How'd the thing go? Well, I found the case report for the hit. You did? What did it say? A lot of stuff I already knew. Plus one new piece of info. Oh? Sugu... Sugi Uchi was investigating that case along with my dad. Sugi Uchi? The same one that's always giving you hell back at the station? Hmm. I've talked to him more times than I care to remember, but... He never once mentioned being on a case with my dad. I'm telling you guys... Sugi Uchi is his real dad. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Plot twist, he's actually his dad, which is why he's giving him such a hard time all the time. And that's despite knowing how bad I want the truth. That's not the worst of it, either. I'm starting to believe someone on the force did my father in. 
That's what Aggie said as much when we met yesterday. Another officer. Things just keep getting better, huh? Seriously. Why don't you call it a day, Machan? Even you need to rest at some point. You're right. I think I'll knock out for a while. You do that. Hey, Beihua, get Machan's futon ready. Chapter 4! Okay, maybe I do stop here. <laughs> After this little prologue, the next day. Boy. So, you're going... Are you going to launch an internal investigation? Not yet. There's something I need to do first. What? Oh. Don't tell me you're taking off with the money. Yeah, I'm totally skipping town. Actually, I'm taking it back to its original owner. Oh, who is that? Some moneylender, apparently. He's got an office on Tenkaichi Street called Sky Finance. <gasps> Akiyama! Can you imagine how much interest 100 million yen would rack up if I just let it sit? Yeah, forget that. Hmm. That's true. <laughs> He's not wrong. Bye, Machan. Have a good day. Oh, I'll try. See you later. Head for Sky Finance. Oh, I guess I'll head there. I'll head there and I'll save nearby. I think that'll be it. We'll stop there. Akiyama charges no interest. Oh my God! Wait, you're right. <laughs> That's right! I totally forgot about that! But what about... What about the bank? Oh, shit. Um... Uh, I guess I'll just save nearby somewhere... Close to... Serena... Alley... I'm so hungry. I put a whole salad in the fridge. It's waiting for me. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, hold on. What's the sa closest save station? Why is there no save station down here? Why? Are you kidding me? I have to go back. <laughs> there was no save station around here. Man, oh, what a waste. There's one there, too. I guess I'll save at Millennium Tower again. As I per usually do. What if someone ate it? I doubt it. It's still in that packaging. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. I think we're gonna stop here, guys. I think this is it. We're going to revisit this next week. Uh... Unfortunately, I don't have another Yakuza stream this week because I'm very busy scheduled, but we'll have one again hopefully next week. Ah, but we're making really fast progress though. I didn't expect Tenimura's to go so fast. Like, I thought they were going to be just as long as the other ones, but this one's kind of... The pacing of this one's going really fast. I mean, I know there's like side stuff and all, but as like... For like, I guess the main story parts alone is going really fast and... It's pretty quick, but I mean, I guess I don't mind it because I don't think he's meant to be like a super big main character or anything. He's... Kind of just like a... A help... A helper, I guess, in a way. I mean, I still think he's just as important th with the others, but... I think so. But yeah. Um, so that, that'll be it for Yakuza for today, so, um, I'm going to close the game right now, and switch over. Ah! Oh, wait! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, um, I pressed the wrong one, my bad. <laughs> I pressed the loading screen. <laughs> Whoopsie-daisies! Uh, let me close the game right now. Uh, I think I saved. Yep. Exit to Windows. Okay.
Ah, alrighty. Nice to take a little small breaky. Hope you guys enjoyed today, though. I hope you all enjoyed uh, the fun scenes today and Animura's character. I really enjoyed uh, today's session, and I started to really like Tani Tanimura a lot. So I thought I wasn't going to, but turns out he is very likable. I honestly, it's been a while since we played a more like a kind of like a slight. How do I describe this? Less depressive or depression or you know, just less depressing character. I mean. He's like... I don't know... I can't describe it, but like everyone else seems to have like... Such serious faces, you know? Or such serious tone of things, but him... He's like not as serious. Maybe it's because of the transition between Saijima to Tanimura, but... I don't know. To me, he's more... Yeah, he's like more chill and just... Not a lot has happened to him other than his father's death is the only thing that can really be super depressing about his character and stuff, but... Other than that, he's like... I don't know, more... Easy... Easy to smile type... Type of guy, so... I enjoy it. Saijima death row, Tanimura Mahjong. <laughs> yeah. Got his... His speaking and... Or his... I'm speaking Mandarin though. Caught me off guard, guys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did not expect him to actually be like multilingual and everything. Cause he at first, you know, Japanese and then Oh my god, Mandarin and Tagalog? Jesus. What what else is out there that he knows? <laughs> I really wish we could have heard his him speak Tagalog, because that would have been so awesome. Maybe one day. Uh, maybe, I don't know, Millie can give me one, for example. Or... <gasps> Sorry. Uh, maybe even Korean, too. I mean, the, we got to a point where there was, like, Koreans at the salon and stuff, so I'm just like, wait, you know. He could have also done the same there, too, so... <laughs> think, think he knows every C language? Really? Man, that's so cool. I wish I could do that. I'm not very good at languages in general. I can barely even learn English. Which is already sad. <laughs> I can't even be good at my the only language I ever grew up with. How am I able to be expected to learn another? It's sad. <laughs> English is hard. Yeah. Although I find it very often in a lot of like... Chinese languages and stuff like even the even Chinese people they're like wow you speak very good mandarin or whatever you know <laughs> you're mandarin so good it's so funny cuz a lot of people are like wow they speak really good chinese <laughs> so it's really funny that's like me if i were to talk to myself saying wow i spoke really good english there for a sec <laughs> uh, yeah Thanks everyone for hanging out with me today. It was really fun. And uh, sorry, there's not another stream this week, but we'll revisit it next week. <clears throat> I'm just really busy this week with so many collabs. <laughs> Dead by Daylight collab tomorrow, and then we have to finish A Date with Death on Wednesday. And then we have to catch up on Honkai Star Rail event, because it only, it, it only lasts 10 days, so I have to squeeze it in this week's schedule. Um, and then I offered to do a movie watch along because I feel like we haven't really done one in quite a long time. I don't know. I just wanted to host something that I wanted to gush about. <laughs> Trolls band together is so good, guys. Nobody is talking about it. It needs to. It needs to. More people need to talk about this movie. It's so good. You'll you won't regret it. And especially for all the boomers out there. <laughs> especially for all the boomers out there. There's a lot of nostalgic references being uh, portrayed or mentioned in the movie, so... Yeah. And it's related to boy bands, too, specifically, so... Just in case. Uh, and then we also have our first XIV Extreme Trials... Uh, 
collab. Although, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's the extreme trials that you guys are maybe thinking about because everyone is still in the early stages right now, but... As far as I know, I think the primals we're going up against are just extreme... Uh, Ifrit, Garuda, Titan, Thornmarch, the Leviathan, Ramu, and Shiva. So, yeah. So, I think th it might not be too difficult. Now, I wouldn't say hard mode. I, I, it's, I think, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I, I haven't really played this game in a while, but it's basically extreme AR ones because that's the only ones we can do, but. Honestly, I don't even think it's like that big of a deal, I think. Uh, because I think Trials Extreme in the early on, like early boss stages are kind of easy. So it's like, n it's not like you need to be taught how to do it or anything. Maybe just like a few mechanics that are very important, but I don't think it's like necessary to need to study for the entire fight or anything like that. Like Savage Raids, so, um... I think this one could be a really good, uh, beginner's level type of hard content for everyone else, but... Me? I'm just gonna go in blind because I don't even remember it and I don't want to bother reading any guides. Uh, other than maybe just a couple mechanics that may or may not require it. Uh, but it, it might just be tanks though, I don't know. Healers don't really have much to do <laughs> TBH, but... Um, it's been a while since I played these ones too, so maybe I could give myself a refresher a bit, so... I don't know. I think the only one we may or may not have trouble with the most is Titan, maybe, or Shiva. I don't know. Or Ramu? I don't know. I'm, I, I, I don't... I'm not really sure. Maybe I should go... Maybe I can do them today. I should just, like, test it out on my main account and just be like, Hey. Uh, I'll just, uh, relearn everything again. I don't know. <laughs> not sure. We'll, we'll see, though. I'll see how bad it is. And... I'll determine from there. So, yeah. Well, uh, we'll, we'll go in today and, uh, what else? Mm. I swear your model feels more expressive today, not gonna lie. Really? Maybe? Well, this is actually how I always am. <laughs> I'm, this is how I've always been, actually. I, 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 but you know, the 2D version of me doesn't very show much expression, so. Um, but this is how I would actually move around and stuff. So, I've always moved like this, like, from the very beginning, but... Um... Obviously, the 2D, it, it doesn't really do a lots of... This and this stuff, so... <laughs> but I... This is kind of natural and normal to me, as always, so... Uh, in case you didn't know. <laughs> uh, also, thank you, Sunny, my woman! <laughs> hi, Pinata, I didn't know what to say, so hi. Well, I, I don't know how to reply, so... Hi! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you very much! You know, you just reminded me of something. Uh... Cendrillon! Cendrillon reached 600k! Uh, just as a big reminder. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, I haven't made a post about it yet. Uh, cause I've just been... Too lazy to, but... Thank you! Thank you guys so much! I'm... Very excited to maybe hopefully see it reach... Uh, 1 million. So, yeah. That one to reach hopefully 1 million, and also my original song as well. Um, hopefully... I think my original song... Um... Maybe sometime... I, I'll probably send an announcement sometime next week, probably, regarding it. Um, I'm very excited, guys. <laughs> Your change cover's almost at a million, too. I saw that, yeah! I did see that. Uh, I will... But I, I have some, like... Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. I have a really good feeling it will be mid-February. Mm, I think it'll be a lot... It'll be a lot sooner than you think, guys, I feel. I think you guys will realize how soon it actually is. <laughs> um, I don't think you guys are ready. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I know I've been hyping about it a lot lately, but it's very true, though. It's um, very, 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 very high quality good. Um, like, I don't think you guys realize how good this song is gonna be. Probably just as good as tsun Tsunami, in my opinion. Um, because the... The music team I worked with... I won't directly reveal or anything, but... I will just give a tiny bit of hints, but... 
um, a few hints that aren't maybe too obvious. So, um, the music team I worked with actually has worked with a lot of, um, their, their music theme is very much catered towards K-pop, uh, themed songs. And, um, actually a very notable thing about this group I worked with. And they, also, they were super nice to me. Uh, they were really easy to work with and they pretty much delivered everything that I wanted. <laughs> they pretty much delivered exactly what I requested for it and it's perfect. But I do want to very much mention some very notable things because this music team is not just me any music team, but I personally think they are a very big deal. Um, they have may maybe worked with a couple notable groups before. Um, well, a couple of them I may not be personally known or personally know, but there are a couple that I do know. For example, this team, this music team, has worked with the K pop group Luna. <laughs> they have. have uh, they've had past work with Luna and also uh, I don't know if you guys might recognize a couple of these but and team or and hyphen um, uh, there's a bit of a list here but Luna is a big mention um, and also they have actually done some work with not just Korean groups but they've done love live and stuff. Um, and even... Uh, a gacha game... Maybe... Possibly... I won't say... Because maybe it's too much of a hint, but... <laughs> yes! So... I'm just gonna say... This song is gonna be a banger... <laughs> if, my, if I am mentioning this... Um, <laughs> yeah, it'll be just as good... We'll, we'll just say... <laughs> This is my pop era, guys. I think this after this song, it's like my pop era for original music vibes and stuff. Honestly, I didn't really quite know or understand what sort of music vibe I was gonna be fit with the best, since I'm still quite I'm still learning a lot. And I think I've maybe discovered my calling. My true calling, actually. <laughs> I think I've, I've actually decided what my true calling is now because I have some personal music genre taste that I prefer more, but I think my singing and the vibes and everything, I think it's most popular in related to pop songs, I feel. <laughs> or club, clubby music, I guess you could say. Dance, club slash dance music genre. Um, or just pop, even. If it if it's not club slash dance related or whatever, I, I think pop is just in general maybe my true calling after all. Cause <laughs> I mean I want to do a lot more genres out there too, but or like soft music, emotional stuff. But I think my my voice fits very well with the pop music stuff. <laughs> at least from what I can tell from analytics and whatnot, at least. <laughs> Tsunami was probably the first one that I was not really expecting. I mean, I, I wanted to expect it, but I, was, I totally didn't expect how popular it would get. So, um, I think after this song, I think you, I think it's gonna be final. That's my true calling. <laughs> But it's got a different vibe from Tsunami though, so I think it's even crazier. So you get the, most, the best of both worlds. Two di different types of mood vibes of pop genre, so I'm excited. <laughs> very, very, very excited. So, um, I'll probably decide to announce it maybe sometime next week. Um, maybe in the middle, possibly. Yeah, maybe next Wednesday or something. I, I don't know yet. I haven't decided yet, but... I'll make a final decision maybe by tonight, so... Yeah! And the song will be coming very soon. Probably not... I would say not even mid-February, I would even say. <laughs> it's like... Uh... Very close to being done. Uh, right now, the music video is just being worked on, but the illustrations and mix, they're done! <laughs> so, yeah. I've just been listening to it on loop every day. 
<laughs> Usually I don't do that very often, but it, I'm actually very proud of this one, so... Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to it, so... Yippee! And I... That's not even the only one I'm working on. I still have two more. <laughs> two more song projects to release in the upcoming days afterwards, so... Yeah! I'm excited. <laughs> always working. Yeah, I'm always working. <laughs> so if you ever wonder if I'm like... Always tired or whatever, whatnot... It, that's usually probably why. <laughs> or blame it on the 7 a.m. conversations I keep having with Niji. Because I can't go to sleep without knowing the, the whole ordeal of it, you know? I can't just hear a cursed conversation and leave in the middle of it. I can't. I need to know. Everything. <laughs> the mystery... The mystery... Kiss. Which homie would kiss who? Don't forget... Don't forget the French kiss talk. I will mention it. Don't worry. If we gather again talking about this, I will f I will not forget to mention it. <laughs> Don't worry. I for okay, Wilson and Sally. Okay, I got it. The, f the French guys. <laughs> Accidental tongue. Uh, yes, that too. <laughs> uh, also, thank you, Jenny. Thanks for the super. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna play my childhood game. Cooper Kazuma on my OG Xbox. I have no idea what that is. But thank you. <laughs> Accidental ton, guys. It's just so stupid. I can't believe I actually thought that was real. <laughs> maybe I was just fantasizing it the whole time. <sighs> yeah. Maybe that's what happened. Accidental ton. How does that even happen? <laughs> Wait, what? Hold up. Oh my god, I for a second! Holy shit, that scared me. I went on Twitter and the first thing I saw was... Uki sending a image post? And I thought he sent a picture of his chest. Like, IRL. I, th I thought he posted a picture of his chest, but it was just cut off. And it was actually just an image from Love in Deep Space. <laughs> He posted four images of love and deep space, but they're all cropped off, so it looked like, you know... It was just the chest only showing, and I thought he actually sent a picture of it. Or of himself. I was like, what? Unki. <laughs> uh, he seems to be enjoying the game. Me too! I'm getting really into it. I really enjoy it. It's fun. And... I, everyone likes this one guy, but I'm gonna be honest, my personal bias is still Xavier. He's like the first guy you meet in the game. And, um... He... He resembles a lot of Cloud's personality because... He's the really... He has a really soft speaking voice. Also, I play it in English, so that's what I'm basing it off of, but... Um... He has this really gentle... Calming voice like clouds like he basically talks like cloud and um His mindset also does resemble cloud a lot. I feel because he is very focused on his personal Missions and stuff or like he's Kind of mysterious in a way like he doesn't really sh It's like you can't read his mind very well. He's very I don't know He's just acts like Cloud. I don't know how to explain it. He's just very... He, he's very much focused on what he has to do and nothing else, really. Yeah. No nonsense or anything. He's very much... He has his own motive or own... Oh, I, I'm, ha I'm not really far in the story to say much, so I guess this is just what I'm judging it off of. I've only played, like, maybe a few chapters or so, but... As... For now, he's a very mysterious guy and he just comes by and leaves whenever he wants, you know, and he's very mysterious, you don't know much about him, but... You know, he just acts like Cloud and he's just very mysterious and soft and gentle in a way, but he's like... When you talk to him, he's very much focused and diligent towards his own mission or his own... His own thing, his own journey that he's going through, and you're trying to kind of... 
you're kind of half involved and you don't know why. Or you don't know what he's really there for or what he's up to or... Some of the unanswered questions you have about him, so... Yeah, that's why I compare him to Cloud a lot. The other guys, though... <sighs> Zane? I think Zane's probably the more... <sighs> Zane is the doctor and he's... I don't know. I barely met him still, but... He, I think he's a bit more savage than the rest of the guys. <laughs> I think he's... If you wanted to pick a cold guy or... Slightly, like... I don't know. He, he's the more savage guy of the group out of all. I feel. Compared to the other two. If you want a... Some... A semi-savage doctor guy, that's him. <laughs> um... And then we have... Uh... Raphael, the artist guy. I barely met him too, but I guess he's kind of like the playfulish, maybe playful, interactive guy. I would feel he's like, hmm. Well, I can't say for sure. I don't know too much of him, but as of as of now, from from, from like meeting him and stuff, it. I think we we have a slight tsundere relationship in a way. Barely. I, I don't know yet. I, I still have to discover more, but... Right now, my heart is stuck to savior. <laughs> I feel like the first guy you meet always hits different than meeting the rest, I feel. Kinda like how anime harem works. You meet the first girl and she's, she's basically the main protagonist. <laughs> And then the other girls he meets afterwards are just the other options you could have. <laughs> but in story story plot wise, they'll more than likely choose the first girl you meet. At least that's how it goes. Although I think in quintessential quintuplets anime, I think that one is different. I think. I haven't actually seen the whole series, but I've gotten far enough, and also maybe slight spoilers from other people that... There is a canon girl, but I don't know too much of it, so... But I think I know who it is, and um, that's all I know, basically. So I don't know. I don't know how it works. But yeah. <laughs> uh, canon girl, yeah. Canon girl. Not like a cannonball, but cannon girl. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, what else did I have to say? Is there anything else I missed out? Mm, I'm thinking really hard, guys. Hold on. When is the gacha game with actual cannon girls? <laughs> you mean like actual cannon? Like, actual, actual cannon? Like, similar to ship girls? I don't know. Probably not ever. <laughs> How's the gym so far? Today was, a uh, very, very, very... Uh, my least favorite ones. <sighs> Today was endurance day, so... I had to, uh... I had to suffer. It, it's a lot, actually. It's like... A lot of exercises, but um, it's also not enough time to recover in between type of exercise. There are days where we have um, different types of exercises, like, you know, focuses on power or focuses on strength, you know, like lifting and stuff. Um, and those ones are slightly a bit more easier to deal with because you get proper breaks in between. But endurance day, not so much because the whole point of it is endurance to kind of keep up for as long as you can type deal. So it, they don't offer very long breaks in between. Otherwise, it's not really endurance at that point. So yeah, they make us do like 10 different exercises in a row and then you have to do it like three times all like all together so for example there's like burpees and then you have to run to a cone come back do the burpees again run to the cone come back burpees um 
There's also like the bear hug squad or... Uh, it, it's like you basically go on all fours and you lift your knee up from the ground a couple inches off uh, for a long time. Uh, you do mountain climber stuff. There's this rubber band you can use to kind of like pull it back. Like as if you're trying to throw an object behind you, but you yank the rubber band backwards while it's tied to a pole. So you get to feel a bit of strength in your arms doing so. Um, and there was also... Um, I don't know what they're called. Hold on, let me double check. What are the, what are these... Uh, what are they called? I think they're called, uh... Ah, shoot, what is it called? I don't know what the equipment's called. It's like a... Uh, it's T-something. Oh, the TRX. The TRX, uh... Like... Suspension training stuff or whatever. They're like... Suspension training exercise where it's like these two long... Like, ropes that attach to the ceiling and you can like lean backwards. And... Basically... <laughs> Like, think of it as like, uh... What's that one playground? Uh... Uh... Oh, maybe that's not a good example. But if you type it up, TRX, uh... Rope. That's what it is. And you basically hang from it and stuff, but you can, you can like, lift your whole body up and stuff. So, like, it's... It'll be secure to the ceiling or wherever you, Whatever pull you put it towards, and... You can use that to, like, hold yourself up. But, yeah. We were just using, uh, we were just like pulling it towards your body and stuff, and, and yeah. Um, and what else? What else? I did jump squats, so you just squat and then you jump up high in, in the air as far as you can, then you jump back or you fall back down and you squat again and jump back up over and over. Um, there was also the. Uh, what do you call it? The row machine? There's like a row machine you can use. And you just basically pull the rope back. Um, and there's... Uh, I think I did this like explosive push-up where basically you... You do a reg you do regular push-ups, but instead you... When you hit the floor, you kind of... Explode by like... Pushing back up again really like... Abruptly, kind of. Like, it's called explosive for a reason because you... You're not just like going down and up and down and up, you know? You're like... You touch the ground and then you go... Huh! You know? It's like a more powerful push-up. Like, you use your whole body weight to like... Put yourself up. So instead of like... Normal push-ups where you're just like... One... Two... It's like... One... You know, like, and then you kind of, like, shoot yourself up with your whole body. And you're not really keeping your waist towards the... Your, like, towards the ground or keeping it low in a way. You can pretty much lift the whole thing up, so... It's the entire body. <laughs> um, and what else? Um, there was... I'm, I'm trying to imagine the gym right now because I kind of remember it in order a bit. Um... Or what? Uh, what was the other ones? Oh, they have uh, kettleballs. Kettleballs, you just swing them up and down. <laughs> you just kind of like thrust into... You, you basically just swing the kettlebell forward and you just kind of thrust. <laughs> I don't know. That's the proper uh, position you kind of have to do is... You swing it down, you swing it up, but you also thrust with your hips. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say to that one. That's self-explanatory. Um, and then... What else? Um, what was the last one I did? It was... Um... What was my last workout? Uh... uh I... Oh, actually, I think that was it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think that was most of it. Hmm, that was all of it. Jog? Uh, we didn't use the treadmills this time. I think last time I did that. Last endurance 
time, but we always change it up all the time. It's never the same every time. There's a lot of familiar reused uh, exercises, but they're, they're always changed every day or every time, so... Every time I go, it's always a different one each time. It's never the same. But I'm very familiar with most of them because I've... I'm pretty much experienced enough. I've been there... I've been to the gym to like... Or for like a... Half a year already almost, so... Uh... Yeah. I've been there for almost half a year already and I think I'm very comfortable with... Knowing most of it, but... I still go with an instructor just in case because... <laughs> I know I would be lacking if it weren't for them, so... <laughs> Working out is too hard. Sitting at the desk is the comfiest. I know, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting at my desk feeling comfortable after a long day workout. <laughs> Work been ruining my workout schedule? Mm, yeah, that was me too. <laughs> Having to sit in office job. <laughs> well, I mean... I say office job for me because it's basically sitting all day and doing streaming anyways. It's <laughs> pretty much the same thing. So I, I consider VTubing an office job because you're still sitting at a desk for like a long period of time. So yeah, that's basically my my level of exercise. But I'm doing a lot more though. I'm going I'm committing one hour to the gym every day, so yeah. And uh I think that was basically my day today. I got my new nails and I'm fabulous. <laughs> I'm like the the Patrick meme photo where I'm like, um, I got the nails and everything and my makeup done and stuff. <laughs> uh, that was me the whole freaking time at the nail salon. Also, I came up with this like. And, well, I don't know if I plan to animate this or get it animated, but like one day I kind of want to, <laughs> I kind of want to do a funny skit with Aya. It would be really funny. Like I want to do a skit where I go and visit a nail salon, and Aya is the the Vietnamese uh, nail tech. <laughs> and basically, I'm just a normal person trying to get their nails done, but. I is like the the nail tech I get, and so <laughs> I kind of wanted to do a really short skit of that. I think it would be so hilarious because I'm not gonna lie, guys. Nail tech stuff or the nail tech stories and like stereotypes, it's so real, guys. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I watch a ton of these like <laughs> stereotypes at nail salons that are especially like owned by like Viet families, but. It's very, very, very accurate, though, is the sad, sad and funny part. <laughs> it's that it's true. I, 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 every time I go to the nail salon, I always, like, feel this way. Every time. <laughs> it just sounds so accurate to me. But yes, I need Aya to reenact as a nail tech salon. Uh, or at a salon, yeah. I think it would be hilarious. And I'll just be the normal one that's just trying to get their nails done. And I'm asking for a very normal thing, but it's like... <laughs> working... Working with nail tech Aya would be like the most difficult experience to deal with. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, one day, uh, I'll have to figure out a script for that. <laughs> that would be so funny. Also, like the stereotype where they... I don't even know what the... how to pronounce it. It's like a... Gosh, I don't know how to reenact it. Hold on. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. I think I found it, actually. It's like... Very common, I think, for... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me see if I can... I'm gonna learn this real quick. Give me a sec. <laughs> I gotta listen to this real quick. <laughs> it's like how you say oh my god in Vietnamese. I don't know how to pronounce it though. I'm not gonna lie, Vietnamese is probably the hardest language I could ever pronounce. Like I can try to do Korean or Japanese or... Maybe even a little bit of Chinese and other languages. But when it comes to Viet... Gosh. I can never do it, man. 
I can never. I tried learning in like in elementary school because I had so many Vietnamese friends, so I wanted to learn. And I also wanted to talk to a lot of exchange students from Vietnam or Vietnam. And um that's why I kinda took a little bit of learning into it, so um but I kinda forgot everything though. <laughs> a little bit, but um well just a couple, I don't know. But yeah. My Spanish teacher was horrible. She never taught us how to speak it. Only write it. Yeah, that's um... That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. If they're not teaching you how to speak it, that's like... Uh, I don't know. That's like not even doing much, to be honest. You could just Google everything at that point. I don't know. I think practicing is very important. Like, I'll be honest. I felt the same way too about Japanese. Because... Uh, Japanese, I was really good at... Um, Kind of writing and sp and uh, reading and stuff and the basics, and, but when I actually went to Japan, I was kind of nervous. I will not lie. <laughs> Speaking is way different than writing or texting or messaging a Japanese friend online because at least you can somewhat proofread what your sentence says a bit by getting it maybe translated and making sure it's okay, but. When it's in person, well, you kind of have to stick with what you got, which is your brain. So, <laughs> um, my, my first Japan experience was very, very, uh, shy. But I think I got better, though. I think I got better at it. And I can somewhat kind of go alone for a bit sometimes. Depending on the situation. Um, but I, I don't really go alone too much, though. It's just like... For small things, but I... If I want to do something complicated, then I need a... I need a friend who can speak it, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... I think it's still a really fun language to learn, though. <clears throat> Indonesians actually have the most versatile tongue, in my opinion, and can copy most dialect with ease. Really? Oh... I need to learn as well. I need to learn... How to speak it. <laughs> I find it very interesting to, to listen to. Ah. One day. One day I'll be multilingual. One day. <laughs> it's funny because... I don't... I, my own native tongue... Or not... Or my... My native ethnicity language... Hmong... I think I know... I think I know more Japanese than my own native language. <laughs> Honestly, the sad... Something that's kind of sad to think about is... I don't even think it's my language specifically, too, but... I feel like in general, a lot of, um... I feel like a lot of languages are... Becoming a bit more... Less frequent, I feel. Maybe only some people can understand this, but... From someone who knows very well that... <laughs> their own ethnicity is kind of... Dying out. Less less of the newer generations are not speaking it. I think it's... Maybe in the next 50 years, it might even be gone. It might even not exist anymore. Which is really sad to think about. But, you know, we, we've just kind of become so... I don't know. I guess, what is it? I, I don't even know if I would say Americanized. Maybe, though. A lot of us are in... America, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just a ton of us. Uh, whitewashed? I, I guess so. <laughs> I guess in a way. Some, you know, surprisingly, like a lot of, a lot of us even, like, I guess, I, I don't know how to describe it. I think, like, some people actually preach that, actually. <laughs> Like, some people actually preach that, and, uh, you know, that's them, whatever, but it's true. It's, I do see it quite often, just from observing and stuff, or at least growing up, I felt like... I knew, I knew at least, a ha like, a few, a like, Asians out there who were very much not very well-versed within their own ethnicity, and very much live very normie. <laughs> very normie life. I don't know. So, I don't know. 
And I just kind of wanted to say something about it because I, I I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way, but like I feel like my own language and not not that I wish up anything upon it or anything. Like I just think that it it is what it is, but you know, less and less of us are using the language less, so eventually I feel like it might go away. But and it is really sad to think about, but you know, it is what it is because uh, I think English is just more easier to communicate now because now we're our social networks have really reached out over the past years and whatnot so yeah but i i still value it i will do my best to preserve it i'm not good at speaking it but i will damn well go and participate in lots of events related to it or i will still do the usual mong prayer before dinner <laughs> Well, I, my family doesn't do it, but my aunt, like my older generation aunts and uncles and grandmas, they they still do the the family get together Hmong prayers right before eatings, and you you sit there, you close your eyes, and you listen to everything. And even though I don't know half of what they're saying, I can kind of guess what they're saying. But <laughs> yeah, I just I just think that's that's still something at least to do and hopefully well i don't know if i can carry that out myself because i'm not well versed in the language but i'll still i will still be prideful for it i will still be prideful for the ethnicity and all so i, I will you know i don't know can you even read mong fish you know surprisingly i kind of can <laughs> Surprisingly, like if you gave me a song, I can probably read it. Surprisingly. I'm actually very shocked by this as well, but I'm actually very shocked I can read my own language. Because I mean, it still uses English letters, but it's like spelled very, very differently than what you would think. Like, I don't know. You would probably not be able to pronounce it easily. It's not what it seems to be, guys. Like, yeah, for example, like when you say Nyozhong, it's like N Y O B Z O O. No one would probably know how to say that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do know I, I do know kind of there are a couple words I feel that are that are really hard to pronounce because you need to get the right it's kinda like Chinese, you know, you have to you, you got like the different ooh sounds or like the ah sounds and it's it can be very different depending on like the the symbol of it, or... You know, it's like kind of similar in a way where it's... Very spelled... It's spelled very similarly to each other, but the pronunciation... Like, the, yeah, the enunciation very much matters in a way. So, I... I can probably speak it very brokenly or like close enough that you can kind of tell what I'm saying, but... Might not be accurate. So... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's... similar. There's actually... <laughs> we even... Okay, I don't think anyone knows this, but... There's actually two different types of Hmong. There's, um... There's white Hmong and there's green Hmong. <laughs> I know, that sounds really weird, guys, but I'm telling you... It's the same thing with English. Uh... Apparently, in Hmong language, there's like... The British version of it. There's like the British version of Hmong, and that's called re or referred to as Green Hmong. So like, it, you, like a, I think someone who speaks White Hmong could probably understand most of Green Hmong, but it just might. <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. Most most people who who grew up with White Hmong can probably understand Green Hmong, but they can't speak it themselves. But people who grew up speaking Green Mong, I think they can do both, actually. I don't know. Is it like dialect? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Like the words are slightly different. Like, like I said, it's like English and British English. It's, we very much say things very Americanized. <laughs> and what you can obviously tell so who is someone who has a British accent and someone who definitely did not grow up in America, so they speak very differently or refer to things differently in different words, I guess. You know, like... I don't know. Uh, 
What are some... I'm just trying to think of it, like... Uh, uh, hold on, let me Google. Let me Google something. Like, chairs. <laughs> you know, if you say chairs, you know, like... That was... That would be something... Kind of, like, you know, weird. Or different, you know? It's like something you don't quite hear often in American... Like, language... Like, language... Or English US language often. You wouldn't hear someone say... Chairs, or... Blimey, or... Cheeky, or... You know, like, things like that. You wouldn't... You know, it's pretty much like how Green Mung does it, you know? It's just slightly different, but you kind of get the point. Or you understand it a bit. But... You know... And maybe... I don't know, it's just like... <laughs> not the British English? <laughs> I don't know, this, this is the best way I can describe it to you guys. That's... The best I can put it off as, so... In case anyone didn't know that existed, it is a thing. I actually had a friend in school who was Green Mung. Um... But they still understood. Or, like, understood the other... Mung type, so... As a Hmong white myself, I have too many Hmong green friends. That's what I'm saying! I don't... I feel like I don't have that much Hmong white friends. <laughs> I think most of the Hmong people I know just know green and it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just so weird how I feel like I'm the only one. For whatever reason. Exactly. So, just a little bit of extra knowledge. <laughs> In the Philippines, we have more than a hundred dialects and I only speak one. Oh, yeah. I feel like... I think I have heard of the different dialects and stuff. Or different ones. I know... If I recall... Philippines actually have a writing system, if I recall. I don't know what it's called. Um, but it's... I don't know what it's called, but there is a writing system. I don't know what it's called, but let me look it up. Oh! Maybe it's this. It's like, uh... I don't know how to pronounce it. Dang it. Let me, let me look it up. It's like called a... Like... Bai Bain Or something like that? Bai, bai Bain And... That was something I did not know... Before... I mean, I don't know much about it... But... I just heard that was a thing... Or that it existed... So... I, I kind of looked into it... Like the letter system and stuff... And I thought that was really cool... I guess you could say it's kind of like ancient script writing... Sort of... Is the... Is the closest thing I could describe it as. I don't know. It's like very, very cool symbols that make up some of the letters. So, I don't know. You guys probably know better than me, but yeah. That's super old. Oh, yeah. I don't think people use it regularly today, but they probably use it for like uh, symbol art or stuff like that. You know, like calli calligraphy? It's like, I think they. Pretty much use it as like their version of calligraphy. If they had to, I feel. But I don't think they use it regularly to communicate to each other or anything. I think it's just like calligraphy equivalent. So it's very rare. You probably don't ever like see it as often. But it's a thing. And I recently, well, I, I wouldn't say recently, but kind of new for a, a bit. But I think that was pretty cool. So. Oh, I just got... <gasps> oh my god! Sorry, I just saw something really cool. Oh my god! <laughs> saw some really cool artwork just now, um, of me. Oh my gosh, that is so cute! Oh... That's so cute, what the hell? Okay, sorry. <laughs> you can't see that yet, but... I just know it's so cute, what the hell? In Thai language, we have four dialects, but the writing is still the same as normal Thai language. Maybe I'm Thai, but to be honest, I'm not so good with Thai. You know, that's okay. 
I'm maybe like 25% Thai, but I'm not... I don't use... It's not my main language that I grew up with, but... I've listened to a couple songs in Thai. But... Uh, I don't... I don't remember... What their name was. There was this one girl I listened to for a very, very, very long time. And I don't remember her name. There was this one girl I listened to every time. I wish I knew what her name was. If, if I could find it, I'll mention it later. She was really beautiful. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I just knew she was very... Very, very beautiful. I don't remember her name, but... If I find the song... I'll tell you. <laughs> But yes, I list even though I'm not very much associated with it, I still take effort into watching songs. I think it's because my aunt, my my aunt is the only one who actually can speak Thai and Hmong at the same time. So <laughs> sometimes my aunt would put these random Thai like basically the equivalent of K-dramas but in Thai. So I guess tea drama. <laughs> My, my aunt would put th those shows on as a kid and I would not understand a single word that they were saying but and she was reading it without subtitles and she would be she would translate everything for me or like tell me what the whole thing is about and I'm like oh I see I see now <laughs> she, and she would just tell me the whole story and stuff and I thought that was cool because like I'm used to my aunt speaking in the Hmong language only but this is that was like one of the rare times I have ever heard her um, translate things for me in Thai, so... Yeah. I heard that you know Lisa from Blackpink too. I knew... I felt like this conversation was gonna come up. <laughs> the moment I started talking about Thai, I had a feeling that Lisa was just gonna show up out of nowhere in the chat. Even though it's not related too much, but... <laughs> I do know she's... She is Thai. <laughs> Uh, or even... or mixed. I don't know. I actually don't remember, but... From what I recall, I know that she is partially... At least. But yeah. So cool. That's why she's kind of like my top favorite. Or... I don't know. I'm like... <laughs> I'm between Jenny and Lisa. <laughs> They're my two favorites. I don't know. It's always been... I don't know too much about them. Or I'm not like a diehard fan or anything. I just listen to their music and that's all. But... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright guys, uh, sorry, I just checked the time, but I have to wrap up the stream. I have some work-related stuff to take care of before things get dark, and so I'm gonna go take care of that right now. Um, I have to reply, reply to some um, work-related stuff, so I will go do that. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I'll see you guys, uh, tomorrow. <gasps> oh wait, hold on. I know who to raid because... Oh my gosh. Oh, we was playing Monster Hunter World. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Everyone is getting on Monster Hunter World. I'm low-key feeling FOMO, but I already beat Monster Hunter World. <laughs> I'm feeling the FOMO, guys. Everyone's playing Monster Hunter World too, but... I, thing is... I don't want to grind again. <laughs> I don't want to grind again. I would love to help, but I just... I can't bring myself to go through that hell again. I already beat World and Iceborne. I already beat... Fatalis and... Uh, Latrion. Oh my god, guys. I... Okay, I actually re-downloaded the game not too long ago. But... Because I wanted to see if I could finish my build. Which is, um... Elatrion's build. Or... I don't know. I'm working for Faye's house, but I don't want to farm him yet. So I've been trying to fame or farm uh, Elatrion, but even so, we're not really quite meeting the DPS check consistently. It's really hard. And having remembering that those days gave me so much PTSD flashbacks. So I don't know if I could ever bring myself to <laughs> create an alt account for Monster World again. I don't know. Maybe. I'll see how it goes. If people actually commit to this, maybe I'll th I'll think about it. What do I mean? Uh, it used to be dual blades, but I switched to light bow gun. 
Uh, I, I switched to like Bogan. Well, I kind of switched between... Um... Dual blades to... Sl uh, the... S what is it? Long sword to light Bogan. I think. Or maybe just light Bogan. I don't know. I, I switched a bit. Uh, but not... Not the heavier stuff, I would say. Dual blades I stuck with first because I was not really used to the whole heavy stuff and... You know, I was just not happy with it. Uh, but then I eventually switched to Lipo Gun because... I was getting annoyed by certain monsters because some of them are just up in the air and I hated that, so... <laughs> there were some... Some things I just did not want to wait for and just want to fucking shoot them down, so... Yeah! Um, so I already beat the game. I don't know if I would reconsider playing again. Uh, maybe if a lot of people are playing it, maybe I will consider it. But the grind, guys. The grind. Getting the monster parts and stuff is not easy from the higher levels. <laughs> no, I, I can't do it. I can't, guys. It's too much. It's too much. I would say I would I would avoid. Honestly, maybe I would play again as long as I don't play till the end. I feel. I think up to a certain point, I think is a good time to like drop it on that. Or if I made a new character, I would say I don't mind playing the earlier stuff, but I know I won't be as geared properly, so it might be hard. But ah. Uh... The grind is really crazy in that game, guys. Like, it's gonna take you a very long time, I will definitely say. It's not gonna be a two-day or one-week deal. It's definitely... Very similar feeling to XIV grinding, but maybe a little less than that. But, you know, <laughs> it takes a while. Elantrion is probably where everyone stops at because that is the most annoying fight ever. The DPS checks and you have to go through all the elemental phases of it and... <laughs> God. And, and the one hit, the one hit shots are so annoying. <laughs> I hated that fight so badly. It was the worst ever. The one shots literally made me rage every single time. And after dying like 20 times, I'm just like, okay, I'm done. I give up. Fuck this. <laughs> and then I, I, I pretty much took a break for a bit. And yeah, the supernova, right? I know, the supernova. Crazy, right? Gosh. That fight is so difficult. I really enjoy the, the previous fights and all, but... <sighs> ah, frick Alatrion, man. Honestly, I would rather do... Uh... Safi. <laughs> I think I would rather do Safi, I'll be honest. <laughs> rather do that than Alatrion. More than anything. Uh, but I still... I think one thing I still need to finish, though, is, uh... Monster Hunter Rise? I still need to finish Monster Hunter Rise, and then... Um... I still need to play the DLC. I don't know if I'm still up for it, though, because... Gosh... I just cannot do Rampages, man. Can't do it. I never finished it. I just... I think I dropped it at the... My favorite one. I, I, after I defeated my favorite... Uh... Monster... I just, uh... I gave up. <laughs> I just gave up afterwards. Um... The one I hunted was, uh... My favorite one. She... Uh, I already forgot her name, but I'm gonna look it up right now because... I'm pretty sure it'll probably click in me... Once I... Once I type it in. Uh... Me... Uh, Mizutsune. Mizutsune is my favorite one. Totally not because she's pink, and totally not because the BGM slaps fucking... Uh, like, it just... It, it's my favorite theme! It's my favorite theme, and that is all. She She's like the Alicia dragon. Or a monster. Like, you know if... You know Alicia from Honkai? From Elysium Realm? She would... If she were to be a monster in Monster Hunter Rise... That is who she would be. She would be Miz Mizutsune. That's who she would be as a monster. Like, it's so pretty. 
the theme song and everything. I even have... Okay. I know I didn't finish the game yet, but I already have two acrylic figurines of the twin girls from the main menu. And from the story and stuff. Um... I'm a huge fan of them. That's the only reason why I played Rise is because of them. Specifically. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the twin sisters. Very much. But yeah. Mizutsune is my favorite one. And that's the one I only stopped at. Thoughts on the Kezu theme? Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I already... God. I hate this. I, I cannot believe I remember that. Holy shit, I haven't played the game in so long and yet you... I somehow... That was the one thing I remember is Kezu's theme. I hate it, guys. <laughs> Damn, now you guys make me want to play again. Ah, maybe I should play again. I don't know, we'll see. Hmm... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Ugh. Maybe... I should ask people if they want to play Monster Hunter Rise, but... I don't know. I think... Ter personally, I think World is more fun or better. Uh, but... I don't know. I'm only doing Rise just because I... I'm just enjoying the Asian aesthetics and, you know... The monsters are still cool. Um, but... I think World is still better, in my opinion. That's... I think that, that's how a lot of people feel, actually. <laughs> so... Yeah. I, I... I... I don't know. I... That's just how I feel about it. But I am looking forward to more that more to come from uh, the series. So yeah, I think the mainline games have slower, more satisfying combat to me. Yeah, I think the combat. I mean, it really it heavily changed in Rise, so I totally understand. People who are used to Monster Hunter World it, moving to Rise is probably the biggest whiplash to them, and I agree. Which is why I don't even play my main classes. I I play Longsword. <laughs> Which is something I did not think I would main, but Longsword was my main, if I recall. And didn't even switch to Dual Blades or the other one, Light Bow Gun. It's just that different. The combat system is slightly different and stuff, so... Um, I think most people prefer the one in Monster Hunter World, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm, <laughs> I personally prefer Monster Hunter World because big damage numbers and because the monsters are bigger, therefore feeling more like an actual threat. Right? I think that's another thing too in Rise is that they're all small and tiny. They're just like a... They're like not even as big as a T-Rex, I feel. They're just small. Average. <laughs> I mean, they're long. I think the thing about them is they're very long, but they're not really tall, I would say. They're not gigantic like a giant T-Rex, you know? They're just medium-small. And, uh, I think that's the one thing that really took it away from me is because I... ...didn't feel like I was quite fighting anything... ...that threatening. <laughs> so, yeah. That makes... You make a good point about that. I think that's a really good way to summarize why world is kind of better. <laughs> Feels like you're actually fighting something ginormous, plus the Elder Dragon. Although, we don't talk about the Elder Dragon. The one where you have to wait, like... <laughs> what, like, 30 minutes for... The, for it to c trigger the cutscene? <laughs> I, I, I hope... I really hope... Um, I never go through that ever again. The one where you climb on the Elder Dragon, and it's just like, you're climbing its entire body, killing, like, the little small... gemstones around it or whatever, that's like... sticking out of it. And then you have to wait like 30 minutes for it to actually trigger the cutscene to get it to move on to the next point or the next part. That one was the worst quest lo the quest ever, I feel. Zora? Yeah, Zora, I think is the name of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zora Magdos or whatever. That one sucked. <laughs> the, uh, the probably the worst quest ever in that in Must Hunter World. <laughs> But well, once you get over that, it's it's like it gets better then from there on. It gets better. So Magdaros, yeah. It gets worse. Or I mean better. Better but I mean yeah, it gets harder, yeah. <laughs> Watching speedrunners literally drop their controller and have nothing to do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you just wait because you have to wait for the monster to reach the checkpoint to move on with the quest and it takes forever because 
Well, I get it. Maybe people are already geared up, so they already got everything. But for new beginners, I know it takes them forever because it's like... Where do I go? I'm... I'm stuck. I'm lost. That part made me lost. Like, so many... Multiple times. Oh, I totally get it. <laughs> now we are playing the waiting game. Exactly. That quest line... Our quest is just waiting. So, yeah. Uh, sorry. I went on a tangent again. Sorry. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Um... I'm going to raid everyone... Or... Raid you guys. Uh... Let me see. Customize... Redirect... Uh... Oh, we will. Okay. I'm gonna send you guys, so... Thanks for joining, everyone. I'll see you guys... Late... Or tomorrow. <laughs> I almost said later, as if we were gonna hang out. <laughs> I, I was thinking of the Niji group. Gosh. Our late night talks about... Homie's kissing. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna go. Thanks, everyone. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Or morning. Wherever you are. Have a good day. Otsubina, Otsubish! Thank you all. Have fun. And make sure you also watch Oiwa. I'm sending you over. I'll probably watch as well a little bit. So, bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.